Bum bum para para tiro para la tiro. Mm, is one second, so it should be okay. Shake, 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 shake it. A shake, 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 shake it. A shake, 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 shake it. Your lips tremble, but your eyes are in the straight stare. What's going on, Anna? What's up, guys? Smellies, Florida girl. What's going on, guys? You were first. It's okay. You don't have to be first all the time. Your lips tremble, but your eyes are in a straight stare. You're something, something, but your clothes are laying right there. Something, something that I was deep inside. Tonight you're falling in love. Tonight you're falling in love. If she does it like this, will you do it like that? If you touch it like this, will you touch it like that? I left a David video for this. Which one were you watching? Which one were you watching, Smellies? I'm breaking out. Like, I'm, I'm getting some breakouts right now. So if you see, if you notice pimples, um, don't judge me for that, okay? I am a flawed human being just like the rest of us. And I have moments in my life that are, uh, you know, I, I, where I have <laughs> breakouts. Watching this while on the elliptical. Whoo, yeah, Emily. I love the elliptical. The elliptical is my favorite um, cardio machine. My personal favorite one. It's okay. I appreciate that, Florida. Appreciate that tremendously. I appreciate the acceptance and the beauty that everybody emanates here. I don't usually get breakouts very often. I get them maybe like once every month or once a month and a half ish. So like my skincare routine is pretty okay. Um, it's just sometimes like I don't know. I just go through stints of. I guess maybe it's like my period or something like that. You know, I don't know my hormonal imbalances or something like that. My brother was in a dress for the wedding, and it ripped. Since I know how to sew it back, I left it in the store and I came home and he used the silk for my dress for cleaning the toilet with no gloves. Man, your brother's always doing some crazy shit, Mel. I was watching Fat Acceptance Has Lost Its Mind. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Watching this while drinking Egyptian mango juice. What is Egyptian mango juice? That sounds exotic. That sounds real exotic. They're stress related? I don't think so. I don't think I'm really going through that much stress right now. But maybe. But maybe. Who knows? I don't know. I haven't really put a lot of thought into it. I just kind of assume that people just get, go through stints in their life where they have um, a little bit more acne than others. Luckily for me, a lot of my acne is not visible. So... He's mad at me because his hands his hands are dirty. Mel, what why is your brother so always doing some crazy shit? It's like Egyptian mangoes. Whenever I see people eating over there in like those countries, dude, like the food is always so gross. Or it's like really really expired fruits. Um you would think that this guy would have playlists created for his fucking videos man that reminds me i gotta update all my playlists but how is everybody's day going so far tonight you're falling in love excuse me while i do a hat trick If she does it like this, will you do it like that? If she touch it like this, will you touch it like that? Mm, don't ruin this for me. 
please finally tell us about the maple syrup bottles. Did I see the link? No, I didn't see the link. Let me pull up the link that you sent. The syrup bottles, it's an elaborate story. So one time, very long ago, in the lands between lands, there was a majestic wizard by the name of Uthloth, and he bestowed upon the earth a great divinity known as, ready for it? Maple syrup. And the maple syrup that was gifted upon the earth itself in the same way that Zeus granted the fires of Olympus upon the rest of us mortals, I determined that it was such a delicacy that I had to, without a doubt, without a single other thought in my mind that I needed to honor all of the beautiful serp and the delicacies of using the serp. So I, I made a shrine, a beautiful shrine for all the beautiful serp ladies and men. There are also serp men out there um, to celebrate the beauty and the amazingness of serp. So there you go. That's the, <laughs> that's the lore about um, the serps. Tis the lore. Uh, yeah, okay, I saw. Uh, Y'all a bunch of pussies. Rebubble 3% T taxes? True. I see the memes you sent, Florida girl. We have been happy for a while. Too happy. Random sadness. True. That's facts. That's a factual statement. But only Aunt Jemima's. So there's, Miss, there's some Miss Buttersworth back there, too. There's some Miss Buttersworth, and there's like some, um, some nameless brands as well. Ones that don't have any any labels on them, like just store brand or whatever. Because, I don't know, like a lot of the store brand actually tastes better than like the the, the general ones. So I'm okay with generic syrup. Even, I know it's not real syrup. I know there will be people that go, it's not real syrup. It's corn syrup. It's corn starch. I know. I know it's not real. But thank you for asking that question. Um, Mer Merceli Melody? I'm not good with names. What, what Disney princess? I need to know the Disney princess first before we can authenticate a, a color. Do Princess Tiana. Do you know who that is? The black one? Good lore. True. <sighs> before they change the label. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Nikita knows the real lore. But still, I think the lore that I just came up with is better. I think it's more elaborate. I think it makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> Ms. Buttersworth is thick. I bet if you looked up on Google, you could probably find some uh No, I didn't I didn't feel the earthquake. I know there was one today, but I didn't feel any earthquake. If there was, it might have been, you know what? The time that earthquake went around, I did actually go to the bathroom and I unzipped my pants. And when I unzipped my pants, my, my, my penis, my enlarged genitalia fell on the floor. And then I, even for some reason, a whole bunch of people were talking about this earthquake. No, let me stop fucking around. No, I didn't, I didn't feel that earthquake. I am close to it though. No, but I didn't feel it. I have a red undertone. Mm, I sent a channel for you to check out because I, let's just look at the channel. You sent it in links. You hate green? I like green. Green is a nice color. Oh, the the Doherty dozen? How we became a family. Sure, we can look at this. Uh, oh my god. What is going on in this picture? This is a crazy ass picture. She overfeeds her kids. She has some black kids too. Hey, what's going on, Anna? You felt it in New You felt it in New Jersey. My scooter broke down, and fixing it would cost the same as a new one. I'll buy a new one. Your scooter broke down. What kind of scooter? Like an electric scooter? That's pretty cool. Mm, yeah, I saw some. I saw some stuff like New York City had like the worst of it, right? But I didn't. I didn't see too much of it. Like, my day's been really, really busy today, so I didn't really acknowledge the, um, I, I heard about it. How's it going? It's going amazing, now that you guys are all here. Light blue, sure. Yeah. Did they push? Oh, they adopted some? Okay. Yeah, when I was looking it up, 
Sorry, yeah. So, like, when did it happen? When did this earthquake happen? Oh, there's one in Taiwan, too? An 8.4 one minute ago? Hi, I'm Diamond Seda. We have breaking news. The New York tri-state area just experienced a 4.8 earthquake coming up. Cindy. $5 from Cindy Reich. What's up? What's going on, Cindy? I'm happy you're here. Thank you so much for that $5. Thank you so much. I appreciate you tremendously. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate you. You beautiful, amazing specimen. A little snow fairy saga. What's going on? What's going on? Hello, everybody. Hello, Dreadful D. How are you guys doing? Out of western New Jersey, about 50 miles outside of New York City, our senior investigative reporter. A 4.8 is that future. high? Is a 4.8 big? I don't know. I don't know what's like. Uh, what, what what a big metric is. Getting ignored, Kitty. You're not. You're never ignored. Let me see what you sent. Are we talking princesses? That's what you said about the princesses. I don't, I'm not sure what princess. Kitty, I never ignore you. You beautiful specimen. Joins me now, Aaron. We actually felt oh, this. Oh, can somebody let me know the... what is a. Is this like a normal, like, you know, in terms of um, earthquakes, what is a big earthquake or a big earthquake compared to like a small earthquake? Because I don't really know much about these. Studio, while on the air, Whoa. what are you learning about this? It was a 4.8 magnitude earthquake that was centered, according to the U.S. Geological Survey in New Jersey, about 50 miles west of, of New York City. But it was felt all over the tri-state, several seconds of sustained shaking. There's no immediate word of potential impacts but right now damage assessment i've been at 4.6 and you didn't even notice it making making maps for your dnd &D game oh that sounds cool D &D are fun. being done uh, here in new york city by the police and fire departments uh con edison which is the uh, provider of electricity for much of new york city is also checking to see whether there are any reports of power outages. And a moment ago, the governor of New York, Kathy Hochul, uh, issued a, a statement on social media saying that her teams are also uh, checking. So we're still waiting to find out uh, the severity of impact. So a six and above is a six is, is high. 9.5 is the highest the scale goes to. Uh, OK, well, I mean, did anybody does did anybody suffer any consequences from this? Is it's kind of weird to have an earthquake on the East Coast, right? Like East Coast doesn't really ever have earthquakes at all. From what I I've never even heard of an earthquake hitting anywhere close to the East Coast. Like it's usually you hear it in the uh, the West Coast. That's usually where they get most of them. And then obviously the middle of the country gets a whole bunch of like tornadoes that fly stuff around and stuff like that. A nine is crazy. What about that one that happened in that movie 2012? You know that movie 2012? Small damage near Epi Epic Center? Oh, okay. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I've been busy like all day today, man. So I, I didn't, I mean, I heard about it this morning, but I didn't, um, I didn't register anything. So yeah, it's crazy. I hope everybody's okay from that. Anybody that lives near that. That is very weird, though. I wonder why. I mean, but, you know, there's been a whole bunch of, like, weird stuff going on the last uh, few years. Like, we just had one of the, the best winters in terms of the lack of snow in... I think this is one of the hottest... Or was it the hottest winter? Wasn't this the hottest winter ever? Like, on record? Oh, cool. You reached 8,000 subscribers. Told you... My boyfriend channel, you were 7,000. I know. We're going up. We're going up, dude. Just like that, Goku's power level soon will be over 9,000. Congrats, you deserve it. You're working hard, uploading every day, trying my best. Thank you so much for the acknowledgement, though. 9,000. Maybe when we do get over 9,000, we'll play this iconic clip. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! <laughs> what? 9,000? It's great. I love that, dude. It's over 9,000! That's before they had um their, their uh... Here, the Funimation. I haven't gone all day! <laughs> I want to see what the great checker... <laughs> It's over 9,000! Uh, it's not as good. It's not as good. I love that. It's over 9,000! It's my favorite.
back in the day when I used to watch this when I was a kid. It was awesome watching Dragon Ball Z as a kid because then you'd go into school and then you'd be like, dude, did you watch the episode last night where Goku screamed for 45 minutes? And you were like, dude, it was awesome. It was so cool, man. I remember one kid gave me a, um, I remember one kid gave me a Dragon Ball Z Goku and he gave it to me to keep. And the next day he was like, I, my mom told me I need that back. And I was like, dude, that's, what do you want me to do? I can't give that back. Dude. What are you talking about? It's mine now. What are you talking about? You gave it to me. So nah, nah. My maple syrup, it's over 9,000. True, beautiful harem of lovely ladies. Do we have a topic? No, not yet. We're just kind of thrown into things today. Yeah, I don't think we have a topic right now. So, does anybody have a topic? We can talk about some stuff, do some stuff. We have a mad show here. Yes, we do. Oh, you have mad snow? Really? You have snow? What state? What state, St Cindy? Um, does anybody know if the the TV show Better Call Saul is that a good TV show? Because I I've been seeing a whole bunch of a whole bunch of shorts from it recently, and people have been telling me that it's really good. But I've not, I don't I'm not a big I'm not a big person that watches shows because like I get I don't like the the commitment of watching shows and I also don't like when they end. Upstate New York? Oh, okay. I didn't know it was snowing over there. Well, I think if you live on the East Coast, I think it's going to be like 60-something degrees next week. So that's going to be great. It's raining. Rain is my favorite. Love the rain. Rain is my bestest ever. Better Call Saul is so awesome. Did you watch Breaking Bad? I did watch Breaking Bad. I never finished it, though. I never finished... Breaking Bad, because I, I I have watched it twice, but then I got to that one, got to the last season, I was like, I don't want to watch it anymore, because I'm afraid it's going to end, so I don't want it to end. Pick a video from the channel I sent, please. Okay, let's look at it. How we became a family of 13. Yeah, these people are cringe. Uh, damn, she's running up numbers, though, whoever this woman is. Oh, I lied. Oh. I lied, dude. Mini fridge restock for my 11 kids. Here's Harley's favorite spring break snack. Uh, I don't like that that has kids. I don't like showing kids on camera because it's just kind of like they can't really consent. I understand that if their parents are doing it. I don't really fuck with showing kids. They can't really do, you know, they, there's no consenting when it comes to this stuff. I, I This is what, one of the reasons why I hate family channels so heavily. Because, like, you know, it's great that you want to show your kids on camera. But it's it really sucks that at one point in their life, like, they're on the internet for no reason other than their parents did it. And that could really, like, you know, mess them up later on in life when they become adults. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that when you're a child, you're a child only for, like, 18 years but for the rest of your life you're an adult for like what 60 of 60 70 years or something like that depending on how old you are so i don't know i don't really like um family they always kind of seem so like it seems like every year or two we get a new family channel that just kind of falls out of like existence because there was some crazy shit going down with them um who said so cinderella let me look up Cinder cinderella isn't that the one with the dwarfs? Oh, wait. Are they making a reboot of the Cinderella movie? Did they already? <laughs> Why? Is this the one with the dwarfs? No, this isn't the dwarfs, right? I bet the dwarfs had big dick. Um. Oh, did they make Cinderella black? What? Do a grocery haul on a birthday, exactly. Um, try shopping hauls aren't really... Probably it will suck. Cinderella 2016, let me see. Why do they do this, though? Why do they always have to remake movies? It's not, it's not bad reviews. Mm, oh, damn, Prince Charming looks good. Damn, dude. Woo. 
Ooh, Prince Charming. They did a good job with Prince Charming. What? Dude, Prince Charming is a fucking 10. Oh, they got the guy from Goodwill Hunting, too. I like this guy a lot. Really great actor, man. Damn, he's 72? Man, this guy's old. But, um, did a good job with Prince Charming. Uh, really good job. Jesus, this guy has a head like a Lego brick. God damn. Who is this guy? Sleeping Beauty probably will suck. Sleeping Beauty, he's hot. He's super attractive. Look at his fucking jaw. is crazy, dude. This guy has one of the craziest looking jaws. Perfect hairline. Perfect eyebrow to fucking ear, ear ratio, dude. This guy is literally a 10. Uh, I mean, he's not a 10, but you know what I'm saying. This is Cinderella. <sighs> Damn. That's tough. That's tough. Was this movie good? Damn. Damn, dude. Whew. Um, I'm sure she was good in the movie, right? I'm sure she was. I'm sure she was good in the movie. Was she good in the movie? Somebody let me know if she was good in the movie. I'm <laughs> not my first take of a Cinderella, but Snow White is with the dwarfs, dude. I'm gonna let you know right now. Snow White, Snow White and the dwarfs, dude. I know that. I know right now. If you probably look up Snow White and the Dwarfs porn, I bet you can find like a gangbang of short people just slamming a snow bunny, bro. I know it, dude. I know there's probably something like that out there. Hey, what's going on, Creepy Kitty? Creepy, Creepy Kitty? Void, what's going on? White, what's going on, Void? Um, Sarah, what's going on, Sarah? Lily James is anything but mid. Is she? Eh, okay. I didn't say she was mid, but I wouldn't think that she's like, she's not mid. No, of course. She was mid in War and Peace. I'm okay, but thank you for the offer. Yeah, but um, I bet there's like some seven dwarf porn out there, dude. I know it. I know a lot of people, like, a few years back were saying, like, the original Disney movies were kind of, like, sexually assaulty because of the way that the guys acted in the movies. And I remember, like, I think they were. <laughs> but it's kind of like that's the appeal of it a little bit. You know, because different times, different um, scenarios and things like that. And plus, everybody loves them. Mm. Hollywood actor friend that were little people. They were cool. You know that guy? You know Mini-Me? Mini me. Let me see. Min. Mini. Mini me. Yeah, this guy. There's a porn of this guy. You can actually go on Pornhub right now. And you can find the porn of him having sex with a prostitute. On Pornhub. And um, I watched it. I watched it, bro. I was watching it. It was a full lady. It was a full grown lady. A beautiful, beautiful lady. And I'm not saying he wasn't beautiful either. He was very beautiful. And um, she, he didn't have, you know, to be honest, like how tall was this guy? How tall was this guy, dude? He, he probably was like, what, three foot something? He's dead now, but. Um, oh, wow, two, two, eight, two foot eight. So this guy, right, there's a porn video of him on, uh, if you go right now on Pornhub, and t maybe not on Pornhub anymore, but you can find the porn video of him having sex with a prostitute, and it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. His penis was very small, which is okay. I mean, he's a small man, so I would be kind of weird that he wouldn't have a small penis. I don't know why I would expect him to have a big one, but he was having sex with a woman, and that is cool. Good for him. Andre the Giant. If there's a porn video of Andre the Giant, that's like basically murder then. Mulan is the best Disney princess? Mm. Mulan? I don't think Mulan. I liked, uh, who's that one girl? 
I want to paint with all the colors of the wind. Because I thought John Smith was hot, dude. John Smith? But do you guys know what... The, so, John Smith and Pocahontas. Pocahontas, John Smith. He was looking crazy, dude. Look at this guy, man. Woo! Hubba hubba. You know, he was a really hot man. He was a hot dude in this movie, right? But if you look up John Smith in real life, you know, you maybe maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing something, right? But this ain't the type of guy you usually think of when you think of like John Smith. I feel like this guy real deal. I mean, I'm not saying he's not a good-looking dude, right? He's he's a good-looking guy, great mustache. I can appreciate a man with a big mustache, but when I see this particular type of thing, I'm like, dude, uh, you know, he don't really look like I thought he was going to look, you know? All right, Cindy. The beard, the beard, he did have a pretty nice beard. Oh, he's hot, you think so? But was he hot compared to the like the John Smith from the from the movie? John Smith from the movie, man, he looked whew, he was a hunk. John Smith from the movie was a literal hunk. But looking at him in the uh, real life, man. I bet he was a 10 at the time. Mm, probably. You know who was like a 10 at the time? And I feel like a lot of people sleep on nowadays is uh, Joseph Stalin. If you look up Joseph Stalin, right here, look at this right here. Joseph Stalin, when he was younger, was a fucking, oh my God. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. He can seize, he can seize the, the mode of production anytime he wants from me, bro. That's all I know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he can most definitely do that. It's like watching a fetus. Yeah, it, you know, if you, if you looked up that video of him doing it, then yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't the, uh, it wasn't the best. But uh, Joseph Stalin, his younger years, was looking crazy. He's a good looking man. Good looking man. He was gangster at the time as well, was he? Uh, that actually kind of makes a lot of sense. Good looking man, dude. What the fuck is this? Okay. <laughs> Stop the steal. Damn. <laughs> this is actually a hilarious shirt. We don't like John Smith. But you could paint with all the colors of the wind. He was doing heists and stuff. Communist re revolution. Robbed, robbed the bank. Shit. Dude, I didn't know he was on that. I didn't know he was doing shit like that. I don't want we could watch this movie. I mean, not my movie, sorry. We could watch this video of Amberlynn Reed being desperate for marriage. I don't want to marry someone just because that's all. Uh, damn, this is 1080. I'm sure Putin was hot too. I don't know about Putin. Putin was kind of crazy. He was crazy looking. I want to thoroughly be absolutely head over heels in love and happily go into a marriage and... I don't know, just thinking about it excites me. I really want... I think people have the wrong idea of what a relationship should be. Like, it just... It really just fucking screams, I don't know what relationships are. Because it's okay to be the... It's okay to be in love with the person... That you're with. That's great. Matter of fact. I think it's awesome to be in love with the person that you're with. But, have realistic expectations. You're not gonna go into the relationship, into the fucking... You know, be completely in love with this person... It's okay to just love them, you know? I, you don't have to make this person everything. No more Amber. Do the daughter, do the daughter's dozen? Let's see. Wait, what do you mean? How she get exposed? She got exposed? Hold on. Let's 
Let's see. Hold on. Do the mukbang with Amberlyn Reed. Wait, what's so what's so what's going on with this 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 exposed shit? Shit, dude. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me. Nah, this dude, we're not doing that. Friday. I just realized that shit's forty fucking minutes long. We decided to adopt because we had nine years of infertility and pregnancy loss, and we wanted children and. Uh, Adoption from foster care seemed like the best fit for us with the hundred plus thousand children in foster care needing to be adopted and we just wanted So she's making money from it was a good fit. We so, so she's making money from like fostering these kids. She's so spoiled. Um, oh, man. And... So somebody tell me what's going on with this. You could help the situation. Hey, I just got here. What's going on, Tamira? What's, so wait, what's what's going on with this? This whole scenario. Bro, this dude's got a 40-minute fucking video. She doesn't I mean, the special needs. She feeds them crap all day, and she's uh she's drunk too. I will post a video of birthday shopping. Yes. Oh, is she a just feeding them the pizza here. What is this? Online, but I'll screen. I'll like screen record what we got him online. I'll like screen record what we got him online. Damn, that's a terrible way to cut the onion. Everybody knows you're supposed to cut the, the onion horizontally. This video of her live, you can see that she's getting frustrated with the kids, interrupting her video if you watch it all. So, like, she just, the fetal alcohol children that need good food therapy. Oh, she has fetal alcohol children? Did she just adopt? Is it all adoption? I'm just doing this right now. All right. Thank you, Shonda. Thank you, Lauren. Are you on YouTube? She's so she's so wasteful. She has eleven of them, dude. No way. She has eleven kids. She gave birth to two, I think. This is like when I see people with cats or like dogs. Like it's okay if you own one or two cats or maybe even three or four of cats and things. But once you start getting up there, dude, there's going to be some neglect somewhere. You know what I'm talking about? She's getting money for the adoption of them. Yeah, the state like gives you money, right? Or something like that. You get sponsored by the state or something like that. But is she like beating her kids? Damn, how, how does she... Oh, yeah, Mom, you have horseback riding. You can't put your jammies on. Um, by the way, I'm happy you're here. D-H-A-I-L-A-S, ghost. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Dehella's ghost, I think. I have a son with autism. That's why I don't have more kids because you need special attention. Yeah, I have family members that have those particular types of conditions. I know how difficult it is. Mm, she bought... 20 cases of water. 20 cases, man. Harley wants to put his PJs on, but his horse back riding. Um, she has horse back riding at 5.30. Are you going to be off alive? Damn, okay. look how much food she... I couldn't even imagine the amount of food cost for this family, dude. She's got to be spending like $1,000 a fucking grocery haul easily. She buys them every... Oh, really? She... Okay. So she like... Does she spoil them? Is that what it is? I couldn't have more... Risk issues, delivery. That's the worst. She feeds them sugar all day. I'm just kind of taking it on minute at a time today. Dude. I thought she was saying false sports, but obviously because uh, kids, kids sports. Maybe she's saying sports from no. But they start sports on Saturday. Like sports. 
Fall yeah. sports officially start. Um, foodie beauty yeah. tonight? Yeah, sure. We could do some foodie beauty tonight. <laughs> you guys love the foodie beauty. Yeah. Sure, we could do that. That is probably what you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She spoiled some. Yeah. Look at these bags of potatoes, man. So many potatoes. Like two potatoes is pretty big, right? If you get in the russets, two two potatoes for me can fill me up. That's a lot of potato. But uh, she's got literally so many potatoes. She has a favorite kid. So far, we've gotten. And Kylie, are you still on? What the fuck is this? Aunt Kylie's on? Yeah, she's my mom. On what? Instagram or TikTok? Feed, she feeds them 7,000 calories and feeds them the same. Oh, Instagram. No. Are you serious? That's never a good sign, Mom. <laughs> no, I mean, it's in my purse. Probably, it's probably in the exact same spot where the GoPro drive is that I want so I can upload that last vlog from vacation. Oh, hey, hey. So, so like, hey guys, it's Bert tonight. We're here to talk about a comment that was left on the Doherty Dozens. Hang on, I'm gonna um, find a video. Channel. Okay, it's a long comment. Appreciate it, Florida. I don't like having it, kids on so camera because I, you know, I don't want to like disrespect them. Is the fave kid the biological one? That's usually how it works. That's usually how it works. It's really sad to say because, like, if you're going to adopt kids, you have to at least... I feel like, to some degree, you're going to have some type of bias. But it's real sad when I see people adopting kids and not treating them all equally. Because it's like, dude, first of all, you made the decision to adopt the kid. The kid had no say in the matter. So, like, the fact that when you adopt the child, you would think that... I don't know. It just really sucks that people don't... Um, they don't they don't chop up their time equally across the children watch the video of the pizza table the 17 year old hates her well luckily he's gonna he's only he's 17 so she'll be able to he'll be able to leave soon pizza night It's that time of year again. It's time for our annual pizza challenge with our 12 kids and Nana and Papa. I grew up up from 12 different pizza places. Papa brought them in. Alex checked them off the list. This year we got pizza from Pantillo's, Chiano's, Little Caesars, Favo. That Little Caesars, that Little Caesars is literally the worst one. Pizza Hut, Cam's, All Star Pizza, Joe's Brooklyn, Perry's, Guida's. Mr. Shoes, Jeez, and man. Pizza Mafia. How much, how much do they spend on this shit? Damn! <laughs> it's a big-ass table. Then we went down the row one by one and taste-tested each pizza. In third place was Cam's. In second place was Pontillo's. And in first place this year was Shiano's Pizzeria. Bon appetit. Okay, well, I mean, hey. I can't hate on the pizza, on this particular pizza. I mean, how often are they eating like this? Like if this is like once a once a week or like once every month, it's not too bad. Yeah, they probably are cold. I hope they like threw them in the oven or something like that. She has a pasta table too, and she dumped pounds of pasta on. Oh, I see. I've seen that trend before, Maddie, where they just kind of take the pasta and they just like spew sauce on top of it. If this is like once a month, I guess it's not too bad. Uh. -uh. Let's see the pasta. Oh man, hold up, that's crazy. We surprised our son with a- This is birthday party? This is gross, dude. This is gross, man. This shit is most definitely cold. This is most de <laughs> This is most definitely cold ass fucking pasta, dude. She gets McDonald's for a snack? See like I wouldn't mind this. I wouldn't mind this if this is like a little like celebration or you're just doing a video just to appease your fans or something like that. 
if you if this is like not a normal thing and you're just doing this as like a one off thing, then fine, right? <laughs> I would probably eat it. I would probably. I could probably get like this this portion right here below the mouse. I can get that. But I know this shit's gonna be cold as fuck. If anybody's ever, if anybody knows anything about pasta, if you leave pasta out for like more than ten minutes, it's literally cold. It's probably starting to brickify a little bit too. Damn, dude. Just regular. Oh, not even warmed up either, dude. They literally just cans of tomato sauce off the shelf. <laughs> what? What are we doing, dude? What are we doing? Not even like no seasonings or anything like that. You need to actually have some type of this sauce is just straight off the shelf. Oh, damn. These meatballs are I know these meatballs are going to be cold. How can I send a video? You can do it through Discord. So, um, if you click on my channel and you go to the about, you'll see Discord. And then you click on the Discord and then you'll be able to join the Discord. And then once you join the Discord, you'll, it'll pop up the Discord, right? And, um, when you join the Discord, you'll see the links tab. And then you can send a link in the Discord. Right through there. Perfect. -a breadsticks too 20 pounds of spaghetti 20 pounds of sauce 20 pounds of meatballs 40 47 breadsticks for some reason that's actually annoying me why couldn't they do 50 you might as well just go up to 50 at that point and for 12 kids you know i wouldn't even doubt it dude cooking for 12 children has got to be what are you cooking all day you got to be cooking all day right there's no other way to like there's no way when i cook food for myself I'm sitting there for 20, 30 minutes, maybe, depending on what the meal is, right? Um, if I'm making a sandwich, two minutes max, right? But for children, which you're supposed to make, like, balanced diets for, that could possibly take you, like, all morning for 12 kids just for the breakfast. I couldn't even imagine having to go through, like, all of the shit day in, day out. Dude, that's a lot of food you have to cook for these kids. Okay, let's see this video. Pretty dozen, and this is my why does she look so old? Grocery errand running trip for my family of thirteen. But first, coffee. How does she have time? I'm actually on antibiotics for a sinus infection. This is why my voice sounds weird, but I am on antibiotics. Wait, I am fever free. Before I go so, into this any further, does she have um does she have a husband? Is there like a father in the house too, or like another significant other that's um taking care helping take care of the kids too? Oh, like I would not be out and about in the community if I thought I was contagious. Um I just don't have a voice. So eleven kids. We are going that. to get I was gonna make turkey soup this week. But couldn't imagine cooking normal food for 12 people. I cook for my wife, kids. It's not aware of easy come because they taste stuff. 12 people is insane. Yeah, I don't know how she's going through that. I, it, literally, I probably it's probably literally like a thousand dollars per grocery shop. No joke. Like the amount of food that you have to buy for children is insane. In lieu of like not having a voice, I'm really craving some homemade chicken noodle soup so we're gonna grab Dude, what is the ratio of this video chicken noodle soup today what did she record this with a couple other random things that were out of so let's go not related but how cute is this little timmy's cup oh also Die. i put a nasal strip on my nose last Husband night and doesn't it do anything really that's really sad hey what's going on caitlin happy you're here it's a bruise like i even covered it up how with old me. is she bro she looks like she's like 50 man God. It might it might be the fact that she's taking care of fucking 12 kids. 12, 12 kids is going to do that to you. I wouldn't even be surprised if somebody told me she was like 21. She's spent $500 on just crap. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I've never heard of that happening, but, you know, of course it happened to me. Are they religious? Yeah, that's a good question. Are they? So sorry. There's food on my face. Oh, shoot. Is this the Wegmans that doesn't have rotisserie chicken? Walgreens? I think it is. is that, was that Walgreens? I'm sorry. Hold on. No. I don't know what this is. Probably just a uh, supermarket that that's, that's, that's um, I think it is. unique to them. Hey, what's going on, Gabriel? 
by the way, what's going on? B I C H Buish, I think. B I C H. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but hello. So, grab those. Some warm lemon water sounds amazing right now. Okay. You gotta buy a lot, right? Hold up, hold up. Go back, go back, go back, go back. I'm gonna need to see that one more time. Lemon water sounds amazing right now. Okay. Uh, okay, sriracha, mayo, bagels, turkey breast, shredded moths, grapes, rosemary, canola oil, Christmas candy, and tissues. Okay. I want to get rosemary. Oh, no, I'll call it ages. Hey, I'm 55. And look 20 years me. younger than her oh, because, so because she's drunk. Oh, she drinks. She drinks a lot. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, that, 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 okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Alcohol ages you. I got 16 pounds of apples this weekend, and my kids have already ate them. Almost all of them. Grapes in these look awesome. Much, much better than the one. Not that many, though. I think I'm gonna get two bags. Oh my gosh, I love the Christmas music. Okay, I get it. It's fucking great, though. We then had a dead stoop bug in the container. Traumatized. Sorry. Hopefully, nobody's eating raspberries as I just said that. Alright, this is what I bought these eight pound family pack of apples this weekend. Oh my gosh, my kids. I threw them like crazy. They're quite delicious. Here. Awesome. But we will get not that bad. Not that bad. Um, 11, 12, tw she has 12 kids, right? It's 12 kids. I believe she said she had 12 kids. So if that is <laughs> 12 kids is like, okay, having one or two kids is literally a full-time job depending on how old they are right so like if your kids are below the age of i guess maybe 14 years old it's probably a full-time job for you to take care of them like no joke right we you know that i don't that i could not even imagine being in a like if it's just her taking care of these kids 12 of them i don't even know how you would even break down that time frame do you like do you sleep like do you how do you operate like how does she even have the time to go outside and get even get a coffee or even be able to go grocery shopping like where are her kids i could what are they all at home how big is her house uh when you have 12 kids like do you have 12 do you have like like a whole bunch of rooms in your house how, what what is the size of her house to have 12 of them does anybody know how big her house is Maybe the kids raise each other. That's usually what happens is that the oldest one is like the one that has to seed off the consequences of the mother or the or the family, the mom or the dad, because like they can't, there's, there's no way, like, there's no way that you can take care of 12 of them. That's, there's no, there's no, there's no way you can. Maybe the kids raise each other. She's deaf. <laughs> She's deaf a lizard person. The way she was looking, Maya. Yeah, definitely. Happy you're here, by the way. Ooh, woo. What's going on? Ooh, woo. What are we watching? We're watching some kind of family channel of a woman that has uh, 12 kids going through like the grocery list, man. It's crazy. Maybe we're not getting red delicious. When you're picking out apples, you need to really look, dude. Some, okay. Sometimes, oh, it's a write-off. Yeah, you're right. No, it is a write-off, dude. You can write almost everything off, man. But does anybody know what the size of her house looks like? Does she have a big house or is it like a, is it like a smaller house? Because like, what are each kid? Like, if you have 12 of them... Damn, dude, what is, like, each kid, like, three per room? I couldn't even imagine sleeping in a room with three, like, two other kids. What are the other choices? Portland, Fuji, Macintosh. Uh, let's go Portland. Right, do this little apple. trading drink on Instagram. It's side of the other weapons. Grab some bananas on the way. I mean, it's not bad. The haul is not bad. All right, let's see here. How many sprigs? One, two, three. Get small okay. house, barely crazy small. The house, though. Damn, what? Why is it, you need a big ass house for all these kids? Out of oil. They do have them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yes. there's a part right here we're about to come up on. Another store. Okay, I'm gonna double the recipes. I need two rotisserie chickens. Okay, rotisserie chicken. Not bad. I already have celery, I already have carrots, I already have onions, I gotta get egg noodles, and better than bullion. Probably another thing or two of chicken broth. I gotta get more bagels. Um, Rhi has no two snack this week is bagels. Why was that so... Was it the rotisserie chicken? So I'm not surprised by the rotisserie chicken. 
So 14 people is probably big. The house people are saying it's small though. She makes enough. Hey David, did you talk about Graphic Alex? Yeah, I talked to Graphic. I hit him up on Instagram. Um, I didn't get a reply yet, but you know, it's not, he's obviously busy and stuff like that. But we talked. Yeah, we're gonna do something. Um, me and Big T Barry Atrick are gonna be doing something soon as well. So I don't know what we're gonna be doing yet though. But um, probably gonna just spend like an entire day just doing stuff. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever whatever his time looks like. Yeah. Because I'm like a super, like, I'm totally fine with whatever Big T wants to do. He said that he, he'd he be down to just have conversations and do us some other stuff. So maybe we'll just have like a really, really long talk about stuff like that. And we could just upload that somewhere. I don't know. I'm totally down to do stuff with, with people in general. So, And I always like talking to people. So it's awesome when I could talk to people that are um, also within this this particular community. So... Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. Big T, 100%. That's coming up soon. It's going to be cool to see you collabing with Big T. Yeah, he's an awesome guy. That's awesome. Glad to hear it. Yeah, it's going to be great. And maybe we could do some other stuff too. I don't know. We'll see. But definitely we're doing something soon. Get some more things out of this. That, that rotisserie chicken, like, were people upset about the rotisserie right, chicken? So because the rotisserie chicken is, like, not bad at all. Mm, grocery list. I love your grocery haul. Would like to see the rest of the. Did you know that you can make lists in your notes app with boxes next to them? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. The grocery street chicken's okay. Please watch the Easter haul. Okay, let's watch this Easter haul. This one? Hi everyone, it's Alicia with Dockerty Dozen. And today Dude, what I is she recording with? <laughs> what? It was 16 by nine, okay? We, we, we record in 16 by nine, right? You wanna know what 16 by nine is? This, this is 16 by nine, the widescreen, okay? 16 by nine. I don't know what this is. This is like four by three. Is this four by three? This is like four by three, dude. What is she recording with? At least it's 1080. Is it 1080? It is 1080, okay. I'm taking you Easter shopping. She's super religious to have 12 kids. Or she just, so she adopted most of them, apparently. Ooh, ooh. 10 kids. That's what, I, that's what I've been told. Easter is exactly one month from today, but I've learned the hard way. You gotta shop ahead of time when you're shopping for 10 kids because you need 10 of everything. Um, shopping is oddly my me time. I enjoy it. Uh, people always say, you know, what do you do for me time? I'm like, I shop and I cook. <laughs> like, doesn't that count? So. I'm gonna go to Walmart first. She's used to TikTok. Most everything at Walmart. Can't do that. Come on. I even on TikTok, dude. Horizontal that video. I don't even know what she's recording with nowadays. Any phone that you get will record in 16 by 9. But at least it's in 1080, so I'm not offended by it. Because when you have 12 people in your family, cool. Seems like a good person so far. Yeah. I'm not really seeing too much. Other sizes, kids sizes, women sizes, men sizes, and Walmart. I have found. I mean, the problem I'm seeing with her is that obviously she's gonna be neglecting children. If you're taking care of 12 kids, there's no other way to say it than some of these kids are going to get neglected. That's a factual statement. So, and this is what I see oftentimes with people that take care of cats or people that are very, very obese and have animals. I always think like, dude, you can't take care of yourself. What, do you, what makes you think you can take care of, you know, all these animals and things such and so forth? Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't understand either. I can find coordinating outfits and line them up nicely. And my husband did it this time. And bless PSA, don't buy the Easter grass. It will still be Easter without it and you'll have sanity. Every year I get the kids a bucket as their Easter basket. I chose My Little Pony for Harley, Trucks for Bodie, Spider-Man for Jason, Dinosaurs for Jordan, Paw Patrol for Dash, Butterflies for Zoe, Frozen for Brie, Minion for Patrick, and Alex and James don't really care what they get. <laughs> These look so awesome. Totally it's a little peeps really a stuffed animal with a peeps blanket, and the peeps have those beads in them. My sensory kids will love this thing. Cool. So much Let's money, dude. Going. These little fidget balls look cool, and they definitely look durable, and that's a good thing for my kids. My kids love bubble wands. I'm sure they'll dump them out immediately, but you gotta buy them anyways. Peeps, there are some new flavors this year. I don't know about this, but Pe donut peeps flavor, have, definitely. Peeps have gone up like crazy. I remember when I was a kid, you could buy like a pack of, sh of Peeps for $1. Like $1, and sometimes you can get them on sale for two for a dollar. Now, if you go to the grocery store, I was looking at the other day. Dude, they were $4 for one pack. One. One of these was like four dollars, and I know that like past the um, past whatever it's gonna be, 
Oh, this is from two years ago. Do you want do you want the more recent one? This one? Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dr. D Dozen, and today we're getting ready for Easter. I have all the stuff for their Easter baskets on my bed because the kids are home on spring break, so we're doing this in my bedroom. Um, yeah. I'm not upset about the kids eating chocolate and sh stuff like that. I mean, you know, it is what it is. They're kids, right? It's okay. Easter baskets, though. In case you didn't see my shopping video. Oh, dude, she got them some Crocs. Oh, these are actual Crocs, man. Damn, dude, that's crazy. Oh, she got some Legos, Legos too. The bigger kids are getting Amazon gift cards. We have Crocs for each of the kids. Wait, the bigger kids are getting Amazon gift cards? Really? Kids, the little kids are getting Legos. The bigger, ki bigger kids are getting Amazon gift cards. Cool. We have Crocs for each of the kids. There's their baskets, ba uh, bathing suit for each of the kids, swim goggles. They really like these. Cool. Um, I don't know. James found these, I think, and then all of the kids loved them. Uh, those are from Amazon. So I got all of them a pair since they fight over the pair that James got himself. Uh, these are the gift cards. I've got a bunch of candy. And then this candy I got from a dance fundraiser at the dance studio my kids used to go to. We haven't had time this year for dance, but we will definitely be back there. And then I have the Easter eggs to fill. And then we put some big ticket money in those Easter eggs. Because that's how I get my teenagers to do an Easter egg hunt with the little kids. Yes, this is my master bedroom. How much money is she making, dude? <laughs> to give his kids $100 each? I don't know. I'm not really seeing too much bad here. Am I missing something? I mean, it just kind of, you know, she's going to be, she's going to, like, the problem I see is just the fact that she has so many kids. Like, that's, you know, it is what it is. But then again, like, you could also preference that with the fact that of, uh, a lot of kids don't get adopted. A lot of kids are just going through the system and they can, you know, they, some, a lot of kids. And I think by a lot of kids, I think most kids that are in the adoption system literally spend their entire teenage years child years teenage years into these systems and they eventually grow out of it and they have to go out into the real world and it really sucks so as much as i think it's terrible that she's like in a position to where um you know she doesn't have the time or energy or whatever i mean it's just obvious you can't to take care of all 12 kids i still think it's probably a better thing than not having her in the picture the fact that these kids are um you know it seems like she's you know, granted, I don't think it's a good idea to, like, monetize your children. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think it's a good idea to have your kids on camera. But, um, you know, hey, overall, it's probably not. I, maybe I'm missing something. But overall, it just kind of seems like not too bad. Maybe she's kind of a narcissist for adopting the kids and make it all about her. But that's better than not adopting them. Yeah, that's what I, I feel like the overall outcome from this is probably better than not. I feel like I just came back from dinner and now she's talking about chocolate Easter. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't see any. I mean, maybe I'm missing something. This is just me looking at her first glance. I don't see much like wrong here. I'm go back to that Amber Lynn Reed video, though. I mean, maybe if you guys have more context than me, I'd be happy to know. Because, like, I'm not really seeing too much bad here. ...to be someone's wife, and I really, really want a wife one day. To me, marriage is more than just a piece of paper. It's beautiful. You're sharing vows, and you're promising someone the rest of your life. And to me, that is gorgeous. I'm like an absolute romantic type of girl and i love love we have talked about getting yeah, married. she wants she loves being in love i feel like <laughs> yeah i think that's what it is i think that's what it is nikita i mean when i was uh when was in the scenario of blogger mom a lot of kids turn out good nope they don't but at least she adopted kids make videos about it so she adopted kids to make videos about it seems like it it seems like she like it's a family channel you know it's a family channel it's all about that no i didn't watch the mr snowflake video on amber lynn reed i think i sent it okay let's see oh okay i see what you sent yeah Hey guys, it's Chris and it's Doherty Dozen Sunday here on the channel. So we are going to look a weird... at a video titled Family of 13 Wegmans Hall. So um, this is one of her shorter videos. I see that for being a huge channel, she doesn't get 
as many views on her longer form content as she does on her shorts. So maybe I'll look at some of her shorts. But what is this video? I of? like going for food just halls like and odd right meal. I'm just feeling a little under the weather. I think it's just like that's one thing I've gathered. She shops a lot. Uh, we are Got just to. grabbing a few things that I didn't get at Walmart during my main haul on the weekend. I can't get today's cowboy stew gone without red potatoes, so I gotta get that. I also need more cream of mushroom because I didn't realize I needed double. I needed it for the chicken and rice. Full, and there's so many people struggling these days that oh, that that thought really bothers me. So, so gotta get that. Um, while we're here, I want to get the stuff for the kids uh, Friday mini fridge restock video. So we're gonna get Easter candy for that. I thought that would be fun this week with Easter this weekend. So yeah, let's get going. I already saw she did Easter baskets and stuff like that. Some Easter stuff in the one haul, the one short haul that I saw. So she's still buying Easter stuff. Um, okay, it's a holiday. It is what it is. I do like the thought of having a little mini fridge for the kids where you can give them the stuff they like, let them pick what they want in it, especially if a lot of it's... I always have a list. It just keeps me... I also need to get a new brace for my of strawberries it was only in the fridge for a couple of days and i went to to get him some today and walmart weren't the best drinks i've ever had so we got berries um, let's get the potatoes and onions i always get bananas every time i pop it to the store because we go through them like crazy oh speaking of that monday i just grabbed the salmon i didn't have time to do it uh, I, I think it's the person that's uh making the video not not um not doherty dozen this person chris in real life be right. a good thing for her to maybe try something like that and let the kids is this help. just like a video of her um her buying food like I'm, i don't understand especially the I don't little understand, kids like, what the food. problem is here you said like a family pack bag of onions yeah. they usually do right yeah like stuff like that so right now all veggies fruits it's nothing too bad here to look at. It's not like I had it today, so. Well, like, that's good. It's nice when you don't have something bad to criticize. Maybe she did buy food that was like, quote unquote, unhealthy. Like I wouldn't, whatever, right? I mean, it is what it is. Like you got 12 kids. Um, you're going to be slacking off in some areas when it comes to nutrition. You're not going to be always able to, I mean, when I grew up, dude, dude, when I grew up, I was eating like, you know, I was eating good quality food. I'm not going to say I wasn't. There was always food in the house and stuff like that, but um, when I grew up, dude, I grew up really poor. So I was eating like bologna and cheese sandwiches, dude. Um, hot dogs and things like that. Always had food. I'm not going to say I never had food. It was always there. But sometimes, you know, it is what it is. Like you ever go to the you, – you, you guys ever see like the Aunt Jemima's? I, I grew up on these. Hold on. Aunt Jemima breakfast. These things. They don't sell them anymore though. They don't sell these anymore. I, I grew up on these. Like I literally grew up on these things. And – um. I mean, it is what it is, right? Like, you know, it's all right to have a, a few kids that are going to have some sandwiches or some, you know, less than good foods. But overall, it's like, you know, good foods. I mean, she's getting quality food here, like apples and, you know, uh, whole foods. Like, I can't uh, so far uh, from what I've seen from this woman. I'm not really seeing too much bad here. But she has the money. Sure, 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 sure. But she's spending a good amount of money on, on these kids, man. And I have cleaner and stuff that I take and I clean it and wipe it off and get all the dust and dirt off of it. And we pull out weeds and anything these days for you guys. For you because <laughs> I don't That's think they sell them much bigger than that. I'm a couple at home, but that's not enough for Got the Pillsbury's. definitely love ready whip if you're like trying to lose weight and you have a little sweet craving that stuff first do this bang my dad would fill me with all frozen food fast food my mom would actually feed me real food hey what's going on day gore yeah um k wop I'm happy you're here by the way uh, the video of her making food for her kids is crazy around and slam and knock and and scream every single time i go to oh i do like those those get him to be quiet basically rewarding him for his bad behavior but the little shit knows that if he just doesn't be quiet eventually i'll to sell soap and stuff i get different ones for different themes for different shows and stuff but um i actually keep those and use those believe it or not uh, i don't know if she was always rich does anybody know if she was always rich guys soap gets you clean but making soap is a so much that bad what are we talking it, about right here now dude same brand that's not that's not giant that's not walmart walmart's great value what store do I see girl through and through? I had bought those patches last time. They were okay, good. I'm going to stay on. I know. Some kind of I know a little bit. Very little. We're actually going to be learning. Okay, and your rings. 
And this is the. She gets candy. Or <laughs> call it the fancy store. Some kind of like. Okay. Kids like to enjoy stuff. They like to have sweets. They like their treats. But you can get, and my son gets mad at me for this. He generally it's pretty healthy. But I think she deleted like the, the original. Oh, okay. Sugar in it. And I like fruit to get cups? the unsweetened. And I put a little stevia in it. Yeah, fruit cups it's are healthier. Cool. It's less added sugar. Yeah, to buy any more Easter eggs. True. Some Oreos. Oreos. Good price for yeah, the Oreos. Yeah, how dirty is it of Oreo to get all these different flavors out? Like millions of different flavors, and I always want to try them. And they're just horrible for me. So. I'm admitting I want to. Ham is good. My little one loves ham. I know it's a little processed, it's a little salty, but a little ham. It's okay. Ham is okay. So I don't think we're going to have ham this year. We'll do ham um, and turkey, but I think we're actually going to do a turkey breast this year. See, foodie duty, some of your viewers and criticizers do know some stuff about Muslim, Muslim culture. Because my sister and them are currently, they, they're doing Ramadan too. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of candy, but they have, she has a lot of candy. I don't think she needs any more candy though. She did already in that last haul buy quite a bit of stuff. And I see she's been prepping the Easter baskets and stuff like that. I really don't think she needs any more. And like I said, with, I'm going to mute it well. Um, with my son, what we've always done, I, I my God family damn, would always buy a whole fucking candy thing, and stuff, dude. And I wanted to steer them away from that a little bit, but still give them fun stuff, you know, for Easter because it's kids. So we would give him uh, some candy that he likes, some eggs, but then we would also throw God like little damn. plastic eggs in there with little toys and trinkets and coins or a dollar or something. God and we damn, would dude. Pokemon cards or a couple little toys or maybe a coloring book and some markers or crayons, something so that the kid can still have a basket and have fun, but it's not just how bored piled. you have to be only with junk it's not it's, like it's a lot of candy, candy. centered so sure it's a lot of candy but you got 12 kids like let's be honest here for a second okay like when i was fucking 12 years old i'm sorry when i was like six seven eight nine dude i would have loved this dude are you kidding man yeah and i don't think this is like inherently bad as long as you're telling your kids to be responsible and you're like dishing out the candy and telling them not to eat it all at once and you're preferencing how they're eating the candy and things such and so forth i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing like it's a lot of candy sure but Within the correlation of having 12 kids, I think this is probably okay. Like, I'm not going to hate on this. This is fine. Like, it's all right. I always really like that because he doesn't eat a ton of candy. He eats some, but, you know, kids don't need that God, that much candy. Yeah, um, they don't need that much candy, but it's not really about um, 12 kids with diabetes. Do they have diabetes? They have other fun stuff. Like, he has a good time coloring and drawing and playing with his toys and opening up his cards and getting the money. I know so. that I saw one of the kids was obese, which is like, I mean, obviously not a good thing. But the other kids didn't look that, too that bad. That suits him very well. And that's a good little hack for if you want to still give your And this is money. also, like, within within the context of Easter, right? Within, within the context of Easter? Yeah. I mean, I can see it. I can see it. I can't. Like, I'm all, you know, like, if I'm being honest with you, like, a level-headed moment here, this is not bad. This is okay. It is a lot of candy, but it is Easter. Easter. But not have just. It's cheap as hell, though. Do you see how cheap? The... It is pretty oh, cheap. This is a, a, an astronomical amount of candy. Sure. Is this, like, a separate cart for the candy she gives it all no, at one time now. oh okay girl hey what's oh, going on ben it. oh my god ben g you don't have to stock up she doesn't on, control the eating at all this candy in the basket she's saving it for later but do you really need all this candy in general ever no no i don't think you do <laughs> okay guys we found the dirt we were looking for right oh my god no 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 more stop it <laughs> No, 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 Every no, other no, day she does no. this. Oh my god. Okay, she really does. Oh god. It was going. It was going so well. It was it was going swimmingly. Oh. Keep walking. Oh my god. Those mini eggs are delicious too, not gonna lie. Those were one of my mom's favorites, but girl, you don't need them. Is this like what she just loves to do? Just she chop worried about the chop saucy chop processed chop. meat, but not the candy? Yeah, that's a good point. Like she's a consumer. I'm a hater. Oh my God. This cart looks not like it hater. weighs 50 pounds with candy. When I was a kid, um, we used to do like food shops like once a month. And we used to go up to New Hampshire because in New Hampshire, it's like tax free, right? And um, cigarettes used to be like really, really cheap at one point. And so we used to go up. I wasn't smoking, obviously. But people in my family that we would drive up with would buy like... 10 cartons of cigarettes, not even joking with you, for like two months worth of um, cigarette smoking. So we would go up there and we would get literally like, I'm not even joking with you. We would spend like $700, $800 worth of groceries every month 
on on groceries when we go up there so um when i see carts like this this is small dude i'm gonna keep it a buck like when i used to go grocery shopping up in new hampshire the carts used to be up and over full of like meats and you know processed disgusting foods and so on and so forth um, I think we're all traumatized. Yeah, I can't, I don't know, man. Like, I mean, to be honest, I'm not looking at this within the context of what she does. I don't know really anything about this, but like, this is like a whatever. It's just, if this is just like a one-off thing, she doesn't control her kids' eating habits, sure, but I've seen that some of her kids were literally like almost grown adults. Mm, I mean, it is what it is. Um, it's not the best. I don't think, obviously, it's the best, but from what I've seen, it's, you know, it's okay. It's all right. It's Easter. You know, it's it's Easter, dude. You gonna be upset if your kids eat on Halloween? No. Ruby Frank was thought to be a fantastic mom. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I'm uh, sure, but until this woman does something bad, I don't know. I can't just like hate on her for it. Reacting to, it's that black lady. That's the conservative, right? I can't really hate on it. Hey guys, it's Chris and it's Dockerty. How we became a family of 13. We are Josh and Alicia Dockerty. Um, I could see that her views have fallen off. I don't know, like, maybe it's just like the consistency of the content or whatever. Um, I don't know, dude. I don't really know the context here within the stories and stuff like that. Oh, so they so they free to feed on candy if they want to. I think it's probably better if she like court like okay. So it's obviously not a good idea to just give kids candy willy nilly and things such and so forth. But within the context of the fact that she has 12 of these kids. And like I said earlier, it's not a good idea to have 12 of them since you're literally um, you. There's no way you're going to be able to separate that time in like all these kids. But like if it's just like a one off thing, I can't be totally upset by it. I mean, I'm literally looking at all her videos and it seems like she's giving them quality meals. Uh, I mean, it seems like she's cooking, like, every fucking day. She's probably, like, literally spending, like, hours at a time um, cooking on all these foods. She's packing lunches. I mean, I don't know, dude. This is more than most, if I'm going to be honest with you, dude. This is really more than most what a lot of parents would do. A lot of parents would just, like, fucking give their kids away. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the sense of, like, if... When I was going to school, dude? No, I didn't get packed lunch. Did you guys get packed lunch when you went to school? I'd never had a packed lunch. I just went to school. Like, free lunch or whatever, you know? And I'm not saying, like, my, my parents were shit or anything like that. But a lot of parents wouldn't do this. And I'm, I'm not saying that she's a good or a bad person. But looking from the outside in, I don't know. Like, it's just without any context. Fetal alcohol syndrome, kids eating crap and not getting help is abuse. One kid. What's one kid left? I don't know how much hated this kid. She hated the kid so much. She hated the left. Uh, kid ran away from her. Nothing is walked away. Have access to food for 24, 24 seven. They can have candy whenever they want. She should probably, I mean, but then again, she's one person. Where's the husband? How come I don't see the husband in any of these clips? Is she married? How come, how come I never see the husband? I mean, it is what it is. Her, her, her time is going to be like severely handicapped given the fact that she's literally has seven of these kids. I mean, I'm seeing, does she, does she not have, does she have an Instagram? Okay, so Josh is 45. I'm guessing that's her husband. She has a lot on her plate. So her, her husband is 45, I'm guessing. And then she's 43. Alex is 17. James is 17. Um, Sorry, James is 17. Patrick is 15. Deshaun, I know he's black. Damn, dude. <sighs> okay. I know he's black. That's crazy. I've never met a white kid. I've never met anybody named Deshaun that was not black. Bree is 12. Zoe is 11. Dash is Dash is a bad name. 10. So, like, most of our kids are above the age of 10. And above the age of 14, they're pretty autonomous by themselves, right? Like, after 14, the I mean, like, what? So, it'd be these kids, I guess? um are pretty good like they're probably autonomous who are we talking about we're talking about this 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 youtube channel foster adopt family weekly grocery hauls check out my playlist recipes she does have an instagram let me see what her instagram looks like 
Uh. Oh, okay. She does have a. Okay. Yeah, this is her husband, I guess. I mean, not. I don't know, bro. I don't know, dude. Husband does nothing. She does have a lot on her plate for the kids, but um, she did it to herself. I mean, I, I it's like, she she did decide to have all those kids in the sense of like uh, adopting them. So I can't say my bad. I gotta keep like standing up. I think I might just take off these pants because my fucking nutsack is sliding up my fucking. Feels like I have like almost a vagina. Uh, let me just take off my belt. Hold on. Uh. Just need to fucking. My nutsack is like sliding up my leg or whatever. <sighs> they refused to fix their Seth Stick system for a while. What is that? What is a Seth Stick system? The husband works. That's it. Well, what is the husband doing for work? I wouldn't if he's working all day. That's okay. What is a septic? Oh, they won't fix the se the septic system. Oh, the septic. Okay, the septic. He works. It's not. It's not nothing. If he makes all this dough for 4K grocery hauls. That's what I'm thinking, too. Like, if the guy's working a lot, then I can probably see it's all right. Like, I know a lot of people will say, like, oh, if a guy, she's always drinking. Okay, well, we all have our vices. I don't know. I'm not giving her, like, any credit here. I don't even know who she is. But um, I know a lot of people that think that guys are bad dudes because they work all day. Or maybe they don't give a lot of time to the family and this and that. I don't know. Sometimes I think that that's probably not the best in the sense of like you're not you're not giving your kids a lot of time but you also are giving them money which is also pretty good you can't sometimes get the the best of both worlds sometimes you need to focus on one thing more than the other maybe they poop outside Okay, let's close some of these tabs down. All right, let's go back to this Amberlynn Reed. I mean, I, I don't know too much about the the thing. I don't, why are people upset with this person? Is it just because they're um? Is it just because of the the amount of kids? Has it? He's the one I'm leaving you for. Okay. Septic system is how they flush and use water. Yeah, I know what a septic, a septic system is. But first, coffee. Oh, Alicia has gone and done it this time. She's only gone and caught the attention. She has gone and caught the attention. She's caught the attention off of me. And I feel like I haven't spoken about her in a little while, but it's not looking good. Alicia, being the mum of the Doherty, does it. But I have covered her at length on this channel because Oof. she has, she's done some really shady things in the past, okay? She is the mum of the family channel, the Doherty Dozen. There are 11 kids in total. Both her and her husband added together 13, basic maths Amy. And basically some of them are like closed adoption. Some are biologically hers and her husband's. So not every single one of them is adopted and none of them are fostered, okay? So by this point, they're all closed adoption, which means that yes, she can show them online. Um, I think I had a few people in the last video wondering whether or not she could actually show them. And yes, she is allowed to show the kids that she has. Whether or not she should is a completely different story. True, because I, don't, she has I, I thoroughly disagree with showing kids on camera. I think it's such a terrible thing shared so much about her kids so much she has sold uh some of the kids stories their trauma stories for you know ad sponsorships and the list just goes on she tends to lie allegedly but she tends to lie about things like lies about donating things and yeah she, she's also the lady that you know feeds her kids all the sugar and spends a lot of money so there is there's quite a lot of different routes you can take when discussing alicia but one of the main problems is that she does have a tendency to overshare and in this case she has really done it done it this time so a little history lesson for anyone who's not aware, Alicia, a year or two ago, basically took in two kids Ooh. and they were known as the kinship kids. That was how they were known. Damn. And she instantly started exploiting them online. And it was very obvious what she was doing. She would also single out the boy who still lives with them and would basically shower him with gifts. You only have to compare what the boy gets compared to some of her other kids. And 
the difference is, is astounding. Now, this will all start to make sense in just a second. God but damn, dude. She's got a whole grocery store in her. What is this, a pantry? Whew. Damn, dude. The, wow, a whole shelf of just Campbell. She got the Sweet Baby Ray's. Damn, dude. Look at three refrigerators. She's got three refrigerators. That's crazy. But the biological mum of the girl and the boy uh, basically took to social media to try and get her kids back. And it was extremely messy. Um, that There was a whole hoo-ha about it. The bio mum found her way onto various creators' channels. You know, GoFundMes were set up. And basically, long story short, the mum just was not mentally, financially, physically able to take care of her kids. Yet there, were, there was a lot of backing to try and get them taken off of a list. Yeah, Nikita, basically that's kind of like where I'm going with this too. Like, uh, yeah, I, I agree that she's probably not going to... She's not going to be able to, like, fully be able to divide out her time equally across all the children. She probably has a favorite kid, which is obvious. The diet that she's giving them probably isn't the best. But also, given the fact that I'm looking at all these videos and also seeing her um, actually going out of her way. And, you know, I, the, the grocery haul videos that I saw, like, the first 30% of the grocery hauls are literally just her going through the produce section and buying a ton of apples, oranges, and other really good whole food, um, things like that. I mean, whatever you guys want to say about like fruits and vegetables, I know there are a lot of people that don't like fruits and vegetables, but I'm for and totally 100% for fruits and vegetables. Granted, yes, the sugary foods are not the best, but still, it's okay. I don't really, I don't think it's like, from what I'm it's gathering, what I mean, is she, is she's probably saying some bad stuff about the kids? Probably. But, you know, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Mess. And what's basically ended up happening is the girl has now left. No idea where she's gone. I don't really want to know. It's none of anyone's business and whatever. Alicia has never publicly addressed the reasoning or even really said in a video that she has gone. I've seen a couple of comments from Alicia stating that the child isn't there anymore. But she's never really publicly come on. So you do still have to this very day a lot of people dude, she's asking where like she the is. Emperor, which dude. is pretty strange. We're talking about, you know, 14, 15 year old girl. But this is what Alicia said. She's basically shaming that child. I don't know why she brought this up, but it's pretty bad. Let me raise her. Fun story there. Um, for his beard. I asked my kids to keep their razors in their room. We actually used to have to lock them all up as part of a foster care contract for one of my previous kiddos that doesn't post anymore. Once she left, we like stopped locking her trimmers up. Who decides that this is a good thing to say about any of your children, about children who used to live with you? The fact that Alicia is following up with a she is just so obvious who she is talking about. This woman's and stretching, dude. This woman's stretching. Come on now. That was light. That was nothing. Come on now. There's no other reasoning to, to share this. Other th There's literally no reasoning. Why would you share this? I agree. She shouldn't be sharing it, but that was like light. thing is, if you're sharing it, why did you not think in the editing process to edit it out? You obviously saw it when you were editing and still thought that, yes, my audience could benefit from seeing this. I think it's really quite sick. And it's a massive shame on Alicia. A, voicing it out loud. B, you know, filming it. And then C, editing it and going, yeah, I think this is perfect to leave in to my, how many, what, like over a million subscribers? It's just so unnecessary. We got to in the middle of the night in Beckham and uh, gave himself a nice hairline. Don't worry. Our barber came and fixed it. Surely, surely that story would have been fine to share. Like, yes, it's a bit embarrassing, but I feel like everyone's done this kind of thing. I mean, if you're comparing that to the story that she just shared previously about her child, you know, it's dangerous leaving razors out. If you're comparing those, it's like apple and oranges. Is, is that the, is that the phrase? You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's so totally different. So totally different. Why would you bring a child who isn't even in your care, like a young, like a young teenager, why would you bring them into this topic of conversation? It's just so sick and twisted. There's also this theory going around on the Reddit threads that, you know, this was kind of made with that child in mind when you kick someone out of your Life360 circle. Now, if you don't already know, Alicia is a very big, like, ambassador for Life360. It's basically like a parent-child tracking app. And basically, it's a TikTok of them kind of being a little bit sassy, like walking away from the camera. Now, I don't know, is that a bit of a stretch? I don't know, possibly, but considering Alicia keeps on randomly bringing this child into conversation, and this child hasn't lived there for quite a long time, it's just so confusing as to why- It is what it is. I mean, like, I understand that it might be a little bit jarring to hear somebody talk about a child that um, maybe, you know, it is, ah, oh, dude, it is what it is. I don't know if you guys, like, having a parent, most of the time, they're gonna say very, very disrespectful things about you. Nobody's perfect. People are going to say things that you probably don't want to say. We're not always going to have the best conversational skills given the scenario. Just because in a scenario you think something's okay now doesn't mean it's going to be okay later on in the future. I don't know, dude. I'm not really seeing too much on this woman, dude. That's like really, really crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really seeing it, to be honest. Like this, I feel like this woman right here, Amy, is kind of 
like she's stretching it a little bit on that, that on that razor point i mean it makes sense like if you have a kid that's like it's improper to have razors and it's like government i mean they just said that it was a like governmentally enforced like the state told them to lock up the razors but when the when the kid left there was no longer prohibited and she was saying that like oh it was not a good idea like she didn't like that i mean it is what it is i mean i wouldn't like that either it, you know What's with the soulless eyes? She does look very old. I don't know how old she is. She looks like she's probably in her mid-50s. But um, I think she's people saying she's like 40 or something like that. But I guess that kind of happens when you're really old like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't know. I don't, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm missing something, dude. But, um, I mean, I'm not really seeing too much. I'm not seeing too much bad here. Maybe I'm missing something. So some crazy shit going on with Foodie Beauty. <laughs> the real villain, Foodie Beauty. What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary oh, that's garlic like bread. She make it clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think I found a place, but I'm not gonna tell you about it just yet. Not even I have the best patties ever. I'm starving. I'm so tired, guys. I don't know my sleeping is messed up. Okay, so first to drink today, I have. I don't know what this is. Colombiana, but it's really cold. I'm happy that, that she's going back to doing these videos, man. I'm happy that she's like doing the car vlogs. This is chicken. Bismillah. It might actually no. not even be a good idea. She's kind of going crazy now on the food. Are her views going up? I can't pass. I know you're going to think. Uh, no, it's true because, like I explained yesterday, yes. I have to take medications that, like, I need to drink water. Um, Damn. I tried fasting, and I just, like, felt so dizzy because, like, I couldn't drink water. And I'm like, how am I going to take my medications? Like, I can't do it, you know? Yeah, I bought some new clothes, but they're kind of big. I bought a size up. Okay. Just in case. <laughs> my, my up. She's back in Canada. Natalie, I have to practice the way I practice and not have to answer to anybody. That's it. That's all. I find I look like I'm like. Damn, dude. This, the, you know, the hijab really helps her. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I, when I see she seems happier, she does seem happier, dude. I, I mean, when you're no longer with the, the guy that cheated on you and you don't have to like be in a foreign country anymore. Damn, it's crazy that her fucking channel doesn't come up first. It's craziness. Um, 9K, 12. Let's see the lives. Yeah, the lives are doing good. Good for her. Yeah, she seems way happier. She seems way happier now. Look at those glasses sit on her face. Yeah, they're like indented inside of her fucking hijab. Uh, they got three pounds chocolate for Valentine's Day. I think it's probably because she's no longer with her husband, dude. I feel like that's, or I guess maybe not even her husband. like 50 yeah she's back to using her foodie beauty name she changed it i think like a few days ago or like a week ago and i think personally this is just my own personal head canon i think that she had a fight with salah and then shit went down and i think she came to the realization that he was an asshole and then she was just like fuck it like i'm just gonna go back to what i was and she like i mean it's to be honest like it, it adds up given the fact that she changed her name she moved back to canada she's no longer talking about salah anymore and she's literally talking about now like not being muslim anymore so i think she's like reverted back or at least she's slowly but surely reverting back to the way she was before which in general i think was a better thing for her i don't know i feel like i'm invested too much into this i look happier i'm just tired right now it usually takes like a few days for my body to readjust like after sitting on a flight for like 14 hours even just like after like five six hours my legs start to like my i don't know it's like i had compression socks on but my legs feel so stiff and swollen after for about three days you don't think I'm they ever liked her? I know for a fact he did not like her. The way that he acted around her at all times was so incredibly cringy. It's almost kind of like they were... It, it, it almost kind of looked like they had never met before. It was like two aliens from different universes trying to communicate with each other. It just didn't make sense. And I knew he didn't like her. Like, he, there, anytime I've ever... You can tell, okay? When people are in relationships... There's usually, if it's a good relationship, there's usually banter. There's usually back and forth. People can usually talk about things that are a little bit weird. You know what I'm talking about? But with Foodie, Foodie Beauty and him, it just kind of always seemed like it was awkward. Like it was so forced. Like they were walking on eggshells perpetually. But, um, and you didn't see that before in her other relationships. At least she was a little bit more open in those ones. But she seems way more free now. Yeah, for now I have no choice. Well, if it's where I want to go, 
Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. Give me a minute, okay? Because this thing wants to fall off. I need a new sticky. <laughs> Living the life Chantel deserves. Damn, no eyebrows, dude. No eyebrows. Damn, bro. What happened to Amber's eyebrows? Is she always like this? Has she always had no eyebrows? Is that just something I've been noticing now? Dude, where are her eyebrows at? I'm having a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> and I just got homesick. Being coated with your fucking... Because whenever you get accustomed to something, leaving it is hard no matter what it is. Even when I was in Katima Vic and I had to leave... It was a financial life. transaction. Do you really think that like she wasn't she didn't have any feelings though, Julie? Do you think that because like honestly speaking, I think Chantel probably felt some particular type of way about Salah, I think personally. And uh I just think that he probably never reciprocated, or at least he gave her enough for her to stay around. I think personally. But I'm open to having my mind changed if you have some more background information. Um if you guys have some background information, because I'd be really interested in knowing if like if they, if it was like an actual transitional relationship, which is fine, if he wanted to get his green card or like, or I guess technically not green card, but like, um, you know, being a whatever it was in Canada, she had feelings. That's what I think. I think that she probably, I don't know if she fell in love, but for somebody like Foodie Beauty, she definitely catches feelings very, very quickly. Like she did with that one guy in the car and like all her previous relationships. It kind of seems like she has a very hard time, um, with her emotions like she gets attached very very quickly and i feel like that's probably what it was i don't know i think that he's like an object to her something to show other people to oh you think so yeah she did kind of always brag about it she asked her ex to pretend to love her that's gross that's gross that cannot be true julie that's so sad was it seven and a half, seven and a half months or something excuse me i was traumatized i was like i don't want to leave you guys and now like a year and a half like my pets like my heart's broken but from here my heart's broken if i'm over there sometimes because i miss some things here dude this guy so must have been never... this guy must have been crazy to move her entire life over to the fucking kuwait for this guy like he must have had some serious schlong if that's the case Leaving sam marginal you're doing the right thing prioritizing. well that's the thing like if i came back here like she had no dad is, oh I really here, like for my health you know i have to actually take oh damn she had no dad man that sucks dude everybody's got daddy issues nowadays and that sucks man i didn't have a dad either that sucks man I care of that <laughs> and it's just overwhelming right now all, all the things i have to do to correct my life you know it was a kind of marriage and he has abandoned family in turkey yikes damn that's crazy she said nader all you had to do was fake love me what does anybody have a video of that of him saying that or was it like in dms or something like that that's crazy as fuck what why would foodie beauty ever 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 put up with some shit like that dude if i'm with somebody and they have to like get to force them to like or just put it on this illusion of love that's craziness david hernandez what's going on and his super superman's durability has superman durability true how do you not know about the lore? I I know some things, but it kind of seems like for me, it's like I'm if there, if her lore was an alphabet and we're starting at point A to point Z, it's like I got caught up in the middle somewhere. You know what I'm talking about? Like at a W or something like that. But he decided to shun me over religion. Told you she's desperate. It's okay, David. I had a father too. It's important to it's important to forgive people though, you know? Like even I know, m you know, my dad not being in my life. It's okay. Like I understand, you know, I'm a grown man now. I understand how things are. People are imperfect beings. It's never good to like latch on to things and like have them, you know, beat you down over years and years and years and years. It's never a good thing. It's always like I think it's like really really important to accept that people are flawed human beings and sometimes like you know, you're a victim in those things sometimes. My dad was a crack addict before I was born. Yeah, that sucks, man. It sucks, man. At least you have, you know, it's it's really good to have people that are strong in your life, though. Yeah. She said that. She was, she said that on a live once. Oh, that's gross, man. You should never have to convince somebody to love you. So, when all I really feel like doing is honestly bed rotting, watching <laughs> movies like Motel Hell and eating junk food, which I know is not that's not a way to live. All the time, you can live like that sometimes. So that gives me hope. No, I, Helene, I hate that song. I heard it only recently. The lore is insane. I can't wait for Mr. Snowflakes to cover it. My dad 
uh, built himself and was found body in a shed. Oh, damn, man. <laughs> it's like everybody's got daddy issues. I try, but time we meet, it's always like religious religion. I don't blame him considering he's brainwashed, though. Yeah, sometimes it's like, sometimes it's always, it's nice. It's good to take the high ground, you know? She doesn't make good choices. Yeah, seems like it. This is Texas by Beyonce. I don't like it. Makes me feel uncomfortable. So this is like her new era. It's like uh, eyeglass era, dude. Foodie beauty with some glasses. I like it. I like the glasses, man. The thing about glasses is like, okay, for her, I think she needs structure in the glasses. She needs square frames because her face is so incredibly round. Everybody knows this. Depending on the face shape you have, you need to emphasize those things a little bit more and a little bit less. For her, because her face is so round, she needs something more structured. When the time is right, he'll come visit. I like when the time is right, he'll come visit. He ain't visiting, dude. He ain't visiting. It's over. It's over. She's just putting on an illusion. My body is there except for my jewel bag. I took that with me. Why did I change my name back? Because I... Sorry. I changed my, my, na my name. I changed my mind a lot of things. And I feel like more like Foodie Beauty is more my brand. You know? How did it take her a year and a half to figure that out? I prevented soon from a friend and it was hard. It took time for me to help. Uh, I thought he actually milled himself. Like, it has more of a past, but so what? Everyone has a past. Shut the fuck up! I have a question. According to Heather, why did you originally upload a profile pic of you without the running going? And also not to mention being married, like, on a suspect toad. Okay, so... Actually, yeah, I wanted to address that, because I keep seeing people say that. Basically, the profile picture, um... I took it, that picture when I was in Canada last time. This is probably like a very good art for her, given the fact that healthcare is going to be a little bit more efficient for her. I mean, she's probably in a drastic position, given the fact that she has her diabetes are literally like moving bricks through her veins. So she's probably going to get an increased chance of seeing some type of uh, physician or something like that. She's in Canada, which is her home country. I feel like this was like the best step for her, right? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You guys think that I feel like this is probably a good step up for her. I mean, granted, she's probably still eating. She's still eating like shit. I just saw her eat a beef patty, a Jamaican beef patty, which, by the way, I really love beef patties, dude. Oh, man, beef patties are great. If you go to the bodegas here, man, they serve some of the best beef patties. But I got to let you know right now, if you go to any bodega here in Massachusetts, these those beef patties have been sitting out for like four days. You got to ask the dude behind the counter how long they've been sitting there. He's probably going to lie to you. Anytime he gives you a time frame, just add like three days on top of that. I feel like I felt something like crawling in my arm like a second ago. And now I'm like fucking freaking out because like maybe it was a because I left my window open and I found a fucking spider over there. And I was fucking freaking out like <laughs> right before the stream. I was like, what the fuck is that? Um, If he if she stays, it'll be interesting. I hope she stays. I really want her to stay. How are people like Foodie Beauty and Amberlynn Reed alive for so long? The human body is tough as hell. Yeah, when 100% Nikita. Anytime I see Foodie Beauty and Amberlynn, that just kind of goes to show me that people, it's a miracle that people have the amount of durability that they do. And think about this too, also for a second. If Foodie Beauty didn't induce upon herself the trauma of having all this weight upon herself for as long as she has and the diabetes and all the other undiagnosed problems that she has, can you? she would be like a superhero. She would be like jumping in the sky and jump like 40 feet in the sky, dude, because if she was thinner, if she was like super healthy and she didn't go down the path that she did, her genetics are so good that she was able to survive the way that she has for as long as she has with relatively, you know, she she's still autonomous for as much as she get for as much trauma that she's under. So like, it's crazy to me that the human, this particular human body can withstand it. And that, that gives me hope. A ton of durability. It took, at the time, 900 pounds for a girl to walk. The legs the size of humans. Yeah, that's crazy. Around 35, it's going to get real for Sugarfoot. Uh, she's 40, right? Isn't, isn't Foodie Beauty 40? In nature, human beings have the strongest will to survive. Agreed when I got that new sweater. Like, when I was watching, um, who was it? Who was I watching? I think it was, like, Muhammad Ali was saying that, or some fighter. I think it might have been Muhammad Ali or it was maybe um, George Foreman that said that he was fighting in, like, a boxing match and that he actually thought he was going to die because the guy had so much durability and it was on, like, round 15 or something like that. And he literally felt like he was going to die, but he knew he had to finish it. So he mustered every last little bit of strength he possibly could to, like, finish the fight. And then he collapsed the moment the fight was over. Like, it's just beautiful sometimes when you see, like, to the length that people are willing to go in order to succeed. It's so crazy how, like, because there's no other animal on the planet that can do that, you know? 
like some animals might be able to push themselves, but for, for a human being to push yourself to a drastic degree means that you have to literally conceptualize that shit. Like you have to think like, I can do this shit. I have to push myself to the fucking real deal, force myself to do this shit. You know, like David Goggins, who like literally broke every bone in his foot to run those last marathons. Yeah, that's just crazy. That's just insane to like, to literally push past your literal limitations. If Allah can't fix this mess, I don't think anything can. She's done. She's done with, she's done with Salah. It's over. And I had my ring off at the time and I didn't think about it. You know, it happens like I do that sometimes. So I did the picture. I sent it to Salah to show him the picture and he noticed right away. He's like, no ring, you know? And I was like, oh yeah, sorry, babe. So I went and got the ring, put it on. <laughs> no, he was like, made him sound rude. No, he was just like, there's no, you forgot your ring, babe, kind of thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. But I'm doing that for dramatic effect. Anyway, so then Shut the fuck up, dude. That bark bark was crazy. I made him sound rude. No. He was bothered. There was no ring, but at the same time, he was barking at... Yeah, you know what, man? This guy was literally the worst. This is... I'm sorry. I know that there were worse boyfriends for... For Foodie Beauty. She doesn't have the best track record. But to be putting up with a guy that's literally cheating on you across the fucking internet... Look, everybody knows this shit. Everybody knows this. You don't send voice memos. That is crazy, dude. Everything that you put online is forever online. So the fact that he's sending a woman DMs and knowing that his wife is foodie beauty, dude, how did you not know? How did you not fucking know that you're, that this was a setup? Are you serious? Are you serious, dude? That's craziness. That's, that's incredible. That's incredible, man. Over what? For some, for some, for some box, for some vagina, it's like, look, we all have fetishes, we all want to do things, we all, we all want to have sex. It's great, right? Ruining your life for some vagina or like ruining your life for some dick is not worth it. It's not worth it. In the moment, it may seem like that, and you might not be thinking about the consequences. But like, look at this. Look what happened to this. You know, he did this, and then the the ripple effect of that ruined a fucking marriage, ruined a fucking relationship. And regardless of whether or not they were actually in a real relationship is irrelevant. The fact that he did that was insane. He's currently pooping on a new dog. Oh, I hope fucking not. He deserves it all. He saw Brown and jumped. <laughs> hey, what's going on? What's going on, Kiki? Uh, my friend married an Egyptian, moved to Egypt, had two kids with him. He started cheating two months after the birth. And the new kids, now she divorced him and ref and he refuses to pay alimony. It's, it's actually gross. This is actually gross. After yourself, it could be fun. Sure, it could be fun, but like ruining an entire marriage is like crazy for that. Like, I get it. Like, vagina's cool. I like vagina, right? It's cool, but I would never like... If you're in a really committed relationship, I don't know, man. Maybe this is just me speaking, but I could not think of a reason to des destroy an entire relationship. And now, granted, I understand that, like, I'm so young. Maybe, like, literally 10, 15 years in the future, maybe I'll think differently. But like, where I'm at right now, I just cannot think of a reason why you would ever do that. No, he was just like... For some like random girl as well? For what? What do you, what do you, what do you think you were going to get from that? You know what I'm talking about? Like, if you were... Like, what? You're going to get, like, vagina pictures? Like, come on, dude. What? What? What is a vagina picture? No, you forgot your ring, babe, kind of thing, you know? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> but I'm doing that for dramatic effect. Anyway, so then um, I put the ring on and took another picture. So you can see that, obviously, they're slightly different. So I just forgot my ring in the first one. He reminded me of that, and I went and put it back on. So then I changed my entire description because, for, like, for the Foodie Beauty, when I became Foodie Beauty again, because it's like her alter ego or something like that like she's turning into bruce wayne's batman or something when i did everyday miriam i wanted to be like more about religion and you know my my journey as a revert and then that just like became like overwhelming it's like i just felt like you know judged a lot not judged a lot but like well that yes but that wasn't like the main motivator i guess i just kind of grew tired of it if i'm honest like it's not it's content that i really it's like i missed beezing like i missed like the foodie beauty kind of content so I didn't put anything and I didn't want it to have anything to do with my religion. Not very much like little mentions, but not like a focus, you know, as a revert. Like I wanted to keep like my religious beliefs private because it's really just between me and Allah, you know? So, yeah, but how are you going to say that you wanted to keep it private when you literally dedicated your entire channel to it? You literally just told us that you were trying to do this for like religion or whatever. Mm, I'm just saying it's zero intentions of meeting her. He just wanted to play her and, and Chantel. Oh, really? Oh, you wanted to cosplay? Uh, not really culture, just Foodie Beauty has an interesting taste in men. 
She's scraping the bottom of the barrel every single, every, every race. Yeah, no, I agree, dude. I agree. I've never seen somebody with, like, the, the, the track record of Foodie Beauty and how she's able to literally meet men that are, like, the bottom, the absolute, the, 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 the worst of the worst, and then always have that be an option. Why? You know, why is that? What's wrong with, like, a... You can't meet a guy, like, around her own age. Like, why is she dating Salah, who's like, how old is Salah? Like, 27, 28, 29, something like that? And she's like, what, 40? That's fine. Like, it's okay. But most people are dating each other in the same age bracket. It's going to be a little bit weird, right? There's like, you know what I'm saying? You might feel like you're competing with this guy. And then also, the guy before that, who was a crackhead, it's just, I don't know. Like, I see this, these track records, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck is going on? How do you always meet these guys? She would get tons of views if she did a weight loss journey with popular fitness YouTubers. Do just retire famous and healthy. True. 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 He's 33. Mess attracts mess. Have a good shower. Have a good shower. Have a good shower, uh, Julie. Um, yeah, it's just gross, man. Like, I, I'm sorry. Like, usually you can see red flags as soon as they come up. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's very obvious sometimes when somebody talks to you that sometimes they may not be all the way there, mentally speaking. And that might be okay for some people. Like, red flags are not inherent reasons to leave someone or break up with them. Like, for instance, I'll give you an example. A age gap is not always a red flag. Like, if a guy you're dating is, like, 10 years older than you, it's just something to be aware of, right? Or if you're dating a woman with kids, it's not a, it's not a means to break up, but it's something to be aware of, right? And if you, there are multiple red flags, then that could be a reason to break up. You know what I'm talking about? When they add up. Or it could just be a major fucking flag where you're like, hold up, this is actually crazy. And I'm going to be honest with you, if I met Foodie Beauty and she was telling me about her track record when it comes to dating men, I'm going to be like, dude, that's fucking crazy. Like, why? why is that? That's like multiple red flags. Too much nose candy. That's how she met them. Yeah, it's, that's gross, man. She has too many. She has too many options, like too many low caliber options, and she has like seems like she has no standards. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. The amount of standards that she has is ridiculous. B. Five dollars from B. Exited for the weekend. I work in the medical field, and this week I saw almost eighty patients. Let's enjoy the weekend and start next week positively. True. Art. Thanks for that $5, B. I appreciate you tremendously, you beautiful, amazing, absolutely divinity personified, beautiful person. Thank you so much for that $5. I care for you and I love you. Thank you so much. 80 patients, huh? Is that a lot in the medical field? I don't know how that, like, I don't know if, um... I don't have, like, a lot of experience in the medical field. But, yeah, you're right. And let's enjoy the weekend. Friday is one of my favorite days of the week because of that. Mm, dude, but I'm 20 and the only attracted to older women. My preference. I fell in love with a 38-year-old at work. So, yeah, that's fine if you fall in love with. Like, like I said, it's okay to be with an older person, right? I've only ever really dated women that are younger than me. But I've never dated women that were, like, I've never, like, the gap I've. The oldest gap I've ever had was six years, right? Six years on the dating app, which is fine, right? Um, but I've met people like the age gaps are not a big deal until they become a, a big deal, right? You might have problems like communicating. There might be, um, there might be like, you might not be able to like have the same type of relatability because you grew up in different time periods and things such, such, such and so forth. But if it's not an issue, it's not an issue. You know what I'm talking about? I'm in my late twenties currently. <sighs> Uwu. Uwu. You're a I have to Google this before I hold on. Let's see what this is. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Oh, you draw blood and then you use different kinds of medical laboratory testing for the procedures, such as transfusions, right? Is that what it is? Is that what it is, B? 80 patients, is that a lot? Is that a lot though? B? So 80 is a lot. Good job. I mean, regardless of what it is, I've had people like this take my blood before. And if you're if you're good the way that I remember I went to go get blood like recently and this lady was so good. Like there was a crazy lady out in the reception area and she was screaming and she was eating Oreos and she had coffee and she was like screaming. Right. She, she wasn't even supposed to be there. Right. They were asking. They were like, why are you like you have an appointment? She was like, no, no, I don't have an appointment. And they were trying to get her out. And like 
um the lady was like come come on back here and then she gave me the blood and she did it in like i shit you not i had like so many things I had to get blood work done for, a lot of things, and she was so efficient. She literally just one after another. It was like 10 seconds, like 10 seconds, moving on to the next one, 10 seconds, moving on to the next one. I didn't even feel it. It was so efficient. So I really treasure people that are really good at their jobs. So. That's why I wanted to do that. Zeom. Like Zeom. I to do that. Um, this is a form of abuse on poop man's part. You can't even do what you loved in your home country is controlled. True. Yeah, in Kuwait too. It's Middle East, so it's it's gonna be a little bit it's gonna be a little bit weird. Yes, I've seen almost hundred patients before. I love what I do and I'm very good at it. Fantastic. That's so good, B. I'm happy that I'm happy that you love it. Hopefully your Friday goes by uh swimmingly and the rest of your weekend goes by good too. Zeom. Uh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not free from Salah. I don't start bad mouthing him. Like, let's just not talk about him at all. Thank you. Damn. To me, if somebody says something and they don't, they say one thing and do another, it's because I usually change my mind on what I want to do. But True. it's not a lie because at the time that I proclaim that I want to do something, I have the full intention of, honest intention of Dude, doing it. Dude, 100. I hate when people do this. Okay. Side tangent for a second. Oh my God. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so bad. When people say you're lying, when it's not lying, okay? Lying requires intent. Lie, I'm gonna say it again. Lying requires intent. And I'll give you an example, okay? If I intended, if I intended to do something, if like, for instance, I called you on the phone, right? I said, hey, I'm gonna be at your apartment at eight o'clock, okay? And I hang up the phone. And in the back of my mind, I don't want to go over your fucking apartment at 10 o'clock. I mean, 8 o'clock. I'm going to be at your apartment at 11 or 12. I lied to you because my intentions were that I wanted to actually be at your apartment at 10 or 11 when I told you I was going to be at your apartment at 8. Now, on the on the flip side of not lying, if I call you up and I go, hey, I'm going to be at your apartment at 8 p.m. And then I'm driving, fully intending to be there. It's like 7 o'clock, right? I'm on my way. I'm going to be there at 8 o'clock. And then I get into a car accident, right? And then that postpones the trip. I call you up and I go, hey, I can't be at your apartment at 8 o'clock. I just got in a car accident. I didn't lie. I fully intended to be at your apartment at a certain time. But things happened. Things changed, right? So it cannot be a lie. Because, like, people will say that it is a lie and it just pisses me off. Because it can't be a lie. Things happen. Things change, right? If I fully intended to do something but things happen, things changed, so I could no longer do those things, it's not a lie, right? Because a lie requires malicious intent you have to knowingly be contributing to a lie just a side tangent i searched david's age on famous birthdays you did what came up i didn't even know i had a famous birthdays um i found a hundred dollar gift card visa in my attic Ooh, does it work i used to sell gift cards um do i have a famous birthday i didn't even know that was a thing Are you lying? It's just that it's, there's some other kind of interfering hardship, whether it's my fault or it's not, it's in my control or it's not, usually it is, then that's irrelevant because it does, it's still not a lie. If the, the honest intention was to do what you were saying True. you were going to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I'm still married, <laughs> okay? But my relationship, I'm going to keep like completely offline. That's why I removed it also from, I removed that and religion off of my roster in the uh, about, that's what I was talking about. Because also, mainly, you know, I like my channel... Foodie beauty, I didn't want it to be about those things. I wanted it to just be what I put in the description, like, you know, plus like shopping stuff, shopping stuff, like live stream, beezing, just beezing. I just want to bees, like basically. So, yeah, you know, wasn't because like I broke up with him. I mean, I guess I can't blame people for wondering because like you don't live my life, so you don't know. Yeah, true. And you know what? The fact that she's like having these questioning things, they broke up. They broke up, dude. I, w I wouldn't want to be with a guy that fucking wanted to take a shit on another girl's chest or something like that. That's super concerning. It's not good. So... <laughs> No, it's not a good idea to be with a guy that wants to shit on other girls' chests. It's, oh, you were lying? You were kidding? You were kidding? Okay, it's fine. It's okay, Smellies. It'd be cool. Somebody make a Wikipedia page for me. So all you you have to rely on is, like, tea, you know? But no, yeah, I'm still uh, married. Then we can all find out the real know, age. I mean, you know? Well, he misses me. He you look me. younger, David? What age do I look? But I just have to keep thinking of, well, myself. <laughs> Selfishly, you know. <laughs> it's good to be selfish. I think more people should be selfish. 
You know, like it's it's good to take care of yourself. You should be selfish in the manner that it, you can be selfish and then also have that selfishness be something that contributes to other people. Because taking care of yourself is technically selfish, and that's a great thing to be selfish for, dude. You know, like taking care of yourself optimally, that's a fucking beautiful thing. Take care of yourself. Be selfish when it comes to taking care of yourself. 18? Yeah, I'm barely legal. Barely legal. That's right. You better watch out. I'm not marrying Keats, even if I was single. I'm, I'll never remarry ever. Never. If anything ever happened. I'll change, I'll change my mind. We'll see. She has broke up with her and he. she has a video of it. Oh, he's broken up with her. And maybe she's just like putting on a facade so that way she doesn't have to cover it. Yeah, that's probably a good, you know what? I wouldn't want to talk about it either. You know, one thing I know for sure is that you should never, oh, was I always on full screen? One thing I know for sure is that if you're on the internet in any significant way, I don't think it's a good idea to put your relationships on because if you do break up, which majority of relationships fail, you are going to have to scrub through content or whatever it may be in order to get rid of those people out of your life or out of those things, right? So it is, um, it's tough, you know, and, and obviously you see the repercussions of it. Like here we have a person that's literally been in like five or six or seven, even eight relationships. The same thing with Amber Lynn. Amber Lynn has all her relationships on the internet and they always fail because there's so much pressure on the relationships to work. Right. You know what I'm talking about? I will make a wiki and include all the, <laughs> yeah, do it. It's going to be great. It'll just be like stories, literally all BBC stories and things such as so forth. Well, I've already changed my mind a lot of times half late. And I'm still here, so I have to keep going. She has a tantrum about it. Um, cause him and correctly remember. She's a flawed human being. I still have toothpaste in my mouth. What? Yeah, I think I found a place, but I'm not hundred percent sure yet about everything. Well, I didn't give my pets away for a man. I got married and I moved across the world. So I was planning on living a life of like travel and everything. I already went over why I couldn't bring them. Same reason I can't bring Julia. Part of the reason. Hi Mike. I can't scoop my glasses down. Ow! There's a bone here, you know? <laughs> I stay home, like, near the end a lot. I stay home a lot in Kuwait, but to be fair, we I also did a lot of content on the couple's channel where we did things, but that hasn't been in a while. That's too bad. Someone in Alex's shook chat said last week they saw you in public this a lot and you kept taking breaks and he stayed a couple feet behind you in public. Um, okay, I don't know. I mean... It was going on then? Sometimes. And for me, yeah, I take breaks. Depends where we go and what how I'm feeling, but yeah. How is that, like, a secret? How is that tea? Like, is that what you get entertained by, Blue Pot? Oh, you, you have to take breaks when you're walking, so what? Oh, you can't see. You're right. Oh, <laughs> I saw you were just looking at my fucking face. My bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. That's the content I hate watching. Uh, relationships, breakups. She said... Yeah, my bad. I forgot. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Maybe it's the person that I saw at the mall with their mother. <laughs> I don't know. There was like a girl who came up to me. Remember I said in my thing? But I was walking when I saw her. So that doesn't I don't doubt it. I don't doubt that foodie booty has to stop and take breaks for walking and things such and so forth. It's okay, by the way, if you do have to take breaks when you walk. Like, don't feel like you're a bad person for that. But um, you just got to acknowledge that the person that you're with has to, like, at least knows that stuff, you know? Ooh, woo. Sponsor the channel. Ooh, woo. Thank you so much, you beautiful person. What is that? Uh, um, Did you re-up? That's fantastic. Thank you. Three months. Three months, Uwu. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Uwu, for being a member for three months. I appreciate you tremendously. I love you. Thank you for making the commitment to be with me forever. People have realized something meant to be kept private and needs to hear everything. True. Am I on full screen? Yes, I was on full screen for too long. Mm, what's the SEAL cosplay? <laughs> Uh, hi, Venom. Hello, everyone. Hello, Haley. What's going on? Makes sense. I was on I full know. screen. Am I on full screen? Really, I don't. What a dumb thing to say. <laughs> I know. One side of your face looks very swollen. Um, yeah, I have left side swollen face disorder. <laughs> See, it's, I always have boogers now because I'm in Canada and the air's dry. <laughs> I'm going back to Kuwait. I'm just joking. Damn. <laughs> I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here now because I don't want to travel. Cool. I literally don't know if I could ever make that trip for a long time. A few months. And also because I just, I can't keep changing my mind. Like, oh my gosh. Like, what kind of freaking manic? Honestly. Dude, I'm so glad she left him, dude. I'm so glad. Even though I know that Foodie Beauty is like a deplorable human being. She's done some crazy ass shit. I still think that she 
I just want the best for people. You know, I really want the best for people. You know, even though Foodie Beauty has a crazy past and stuff like that, she still does. She still, I think she still deserves to at least have a normal life. And sometimes I feel like as a human being, you don't know when you're in a bad situation. And maybe you kind of think that you have to put up with the situation and maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll be like super, um, like things will get, you know what I'm talking about? Like things will change. But oftentimes they don't. And for somebody like Foodie Beauty, staying with a guy that's like cheating on you, not good. Not good. Especially for a guy that never really even liked you. Um, you know, even the scenarios that people are talking about where she had to walk several feet behind him because he didn't want to be around her. And you could tell. I mean, it literally, every time I saw this, and she was like mothering him as well. Like when he was making content on the internet, she literally told him not to do it anymore. I personally think that Foodie Beauty should never have been with that guy. Okay. She needs to have higher standards. I'm I'm sick of seeing her with deplorable men that she like she's basically mothering, dude. She takes care of them. Why is that? She needs the hyperbolic time chamber. True, she does need the hyperbolic time chamber. Got trained with Gohan in there, dude, to try like build up that tolerance Wait, for people. I've done this traveling so many times. I've changed my mind so many times. Last time I consistently came here, I was the best to... dude. That... I appreciate you, Maddie. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's what I'm doing now. But no. And now I have a pain in my heart because I miss my husband. Oh. I feel really alone. Even if I have people around me, I'm going to feel alone because I'm alone for a certain type of like attention and love. And I miss Julia's bad breath. Thomas the tank engine. Shaped like a screen mask. Yeah. There's only certain people I can live with in life. <sighs> Obviously, my husband. And even then. No, I'm just joking. I'm kidding, babe. I'll give the deposit. And if I just somehow something happens, I'll just uh, cancel it, I guess. I'll get it back. I'm married, so there's no dating chaos. And even if I ever got divorced for some reason, there's no way I'm touching another male in my entire life from now on. Nope. Nope. Gross. True. When I think of all the creatures I let just, like, touch me. Ew. 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 Yeah, men are fucking gross, dude. What are you fucking talking about? Gross. Men are literally the bottom of the barrel. Disgusting creatures upon this earth. They are deplorable. They are disgusting. And they are diabolical. The three Ds. Okay? That's what they are. Guys are just just, just gross. So, like, what? The lesbian, then? Is she going to be, like, a lesbian or something like that? Or is she going to forsake human interaction in general just become asexual i guess if that's what she wants to do i mean just because you're married to a guy like what is a guy across the entire fucking world like what are you gonna do what, what do you what do you do there hey what's going on tina happy you're here ew 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 what a pig ew i Rich have coming pig. from her did you just call her beloved a creature oh yeah she did do that yeah you're totally right about that yeah yeah you're right you're totally right she you she did do that yeah you're right, Smellies. You're totally right about that. Damn, did I even... <sighs> you catching on. Happy you're here to point that out. You're totally right. She did do that. She buy. Okay, I'll make an Amazon wish list and no one will buy anything. Didn't she say she doesn't like eating vagina? Like when she ate Dee Dee's vagina, she said it was gross and she threw up right after. I don't think she's down for the vagina. I don't think she's down for that, dude. She don't got the balls for that. Thing for me, so I don't like asking people for things anyways. Eating vagina is way more intimidating than sucking dick. I'm going to keep it a buck with you, okay? Speaking from experience here, I've never sucked dick, obviously, but I've seen it done before, and I'm a li Listen, I've never met a dude that's ever complained about it, ever. Um, You might meet a girl, you might meet a dude every once in a while that went like, ah, it wasn't the best, but I've never heard a dude say it was bad. When I talk to girls, 100% women have told me, oh, he tried to eat me out. He didn't even know what was going on down there. He was down there for 45 minutes, and I he was just sucking on my leg. And I hear that all the time, all the time. I think you need actual skill, and you need to know what you're doing in order to properly consume vaginal secretions. But for, for, for sucking dick, it's easy. Like, you just go up and down with your mouth open. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all you need to do, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Some girls do it better than others in the sense of, like, I feel like most people, if they were to do the act of fellatio for men, I feel like most people are average. But then sometimes you might meet that person that's, like, a 9 or a 10. And then sometimes you might meet somebody that's, like, a 15. And that person will, like, blow your mind. You know what I'm talking about? You appreciate it a lot? I appreciate you. I appreciate you a lot. Or when she went down on another girl after she peed. Not wrong. Lesbian sex doesn't have to be oral. That's right. You're, to you're totally true on that one. 
Yeah, I mean, men are pretty bad at that. True. But you know what it is like? It's like women have like a lot of functions and like what works for one girl isn't going to work for another girl. That's why I always think that it's like super, super important to communicate with the person that you're with. I know a lot of people think it's like weird when they have sex that they don't talk, right? Because I know, I know a lot of people that say that. They're like, oh, I, when I have sex, I don't want to talk. I just want to do it. I just want to have the interaction. I want it to be like really, really personable or whatever the fuck. I don't, I don't know about that. Personally, me speaking, we're talking. Like we're talking through the entire thing. Not like... So how was your day, honey? How was your, what you? What did you do today? What you have for breakfast? Not like that. But, you know, like, hey, like, am I doing a good job? Like, tell me what I did. You know, you know, you're, you're being real bad type shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like that type of stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely vocal. And I think it's really, really okay to tell me if I'm doing a good job or not. Like, tell me what you want me to do. And then I can do it properly, right? To the left, to the right, whatever type of shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that is really, really appropriate. Talk about things. Otherwise, what is the point? You know what I'm talking about? You want to get yours? Come on. Nothing wrong with that. So I can make one and just keep it there. Whoever wants to get something can. And if not, I'll just get it like whenever I can, you know? <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to go for now. This is just a short one. More walks, but not in this crap. Hell no. My sketches are frozen. Am I sad? I'm in like a mix of emotions. Maybe I just want to talk them out. Like, I feel like, without getting too personal, you know, but if I could describe the level of conflicted I feel inside myself. Like, I'm staying here. Don't worry about it. But I'm, I'm very... Sometimes, not always. Sometimes I get sad. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out, like, how to make my life productive and fulfilling here. It's not a facade. What makes you say that? It's definitely like, a facade. Seriously, like, I don't understand the grounds. It's real. I miss my family over there. Of course I do. I spent, like, a year and a half getting used to that. So, but at the same time, I recognize, like, I need to be here right now. So... What can I do? Sam will go crazy. You think so? I don't have a winter coat. What I'm what I'm hearing from Foodie Beauty is like she's trying to she's trying to put up this like wall of well I have no choice but to be here. I mean it's my only choice. Like it's literally what I have to do. And I sure I'm sure some of that is true, but I think that a lot of it is probably her just saying that so that way people don't have like when when somebody does ask her the question of hey why are you in Canada and not with your husband hey why are you here but not over here she can just immediately go to oh well, I have no choice like I've already talked about this I'm I I, don't, I have to be here like it is what it is right I think that's what I think that's the reason why she keeps bringing this up do you think Salah is already cheating with another woman again um I don't know if he's cheating on another woman but. It almost doesn't even matter given that he already cheated. You know, when it comes to like relationships and stuff like that, it's like a one and done, right? I know Foodie Beauty probably feels the same way. Like it's gross. You can't look at that person the same way after that. And don't get me wrong. If you're like in a relationship and you guys like cheating doesn't have to be just sex because what he did, I 100% think that was cheating. So I think Foodie Beauty is probably just, mm, I mean, it doesn't matter. Even if he's cheating, fuck him. He's just like a bad person. I wonder how uncomfortable it is at that size. Uh, I have seven shirts and it's cold. And I'm cold easily. Can barely move. I don't know either, honestly speaking. Like I, you know, when one thing I always think about too is like when I'm bringing up like a lot of stuff up the stairs, like I'm carrying stuff up the stairs, I always think it's heavy. Like this is extraordinarily heavy. I couldn't even imagine walking up flights of stairs with double or even triple the amount of weight on my body every day and then also like walking or getting up in the morning like this stuff is gonna like literally destroy you man and she does it every day amber lynn all these fat people they do it every single day and i always think like why would you ever put up with that it's hard seeing pictures of like salah and julia and how we <laughs> she's lying but it's also hard without you know things here so. no she's lying dude she keeps having to preference that shit she she keeps a, she keeps preferencing it i'm i'm not nah, dude she's fucking she's lying she's lying od to do look my live streams can't be very eventful until i just establish a life here i just need everyone to be patient please people do long distance it's not that unusual yeah but oh you think so let me ask you this you guys think that watching porn and getting corny over someone else is cheating absolutely not it's definitely not it's a human being to, to um it's completely fine to look at another human being and think that they're attractive. Um, p watching porn, I feel like... Um, I know some people that think that might be cheating, but for me, I never thought it was cheating. It would just depend. Like, okay. It, it depends on what it is, right? Hear me out. If I'm dating a girl and she's watching porn, I don't care. 
right? Unless it's weird porn. If it's weird porn, then I might have a problem with it, right? I might have a problem with it. Um, like, for instance... I've dated women that watch gay porn, which I'm not really even intimidated by. Like, you're watching gay porn. Most of the time when I watch – when women are watching gay porn, it's so weird. I hear them say – I say this every – they say this every single time. I'm not watching them for the gay porn. I just like the sounds that they make, you know? Like the doubled up of the the man noises or whatever, the moanings, which I get it. Uh, you know, a lot of women like the vocalization. For some reason, a lot of dudes when they have sex, they're just – planks of wood they don't do anything you know what i'm talking about they just sit there and they just like i don't know they're having sex with you and it's very bare bones there's nothing really going on so there's that i got a question though if you were dating a man and um and that guy okay this is a question for women or gay dudes okay if you are dating a man and that guy is watching gay porn what would you feel like like how would you react how would you react if you if you walked in, okay, and your dude was beating off or just watching porn? I don't know who's just recreationally watching porn. There's only a few people in my life that I've ever seen doing that. Would you? What would you do if he was watching gay porn, like homosexual porn? As long as you talk to him about it first. No, but I'm Gen X. We didn't grow up with such porn culture. True. Um, neither. I don't care. It's preface. How weird. Um, it would just depend on what the porn is. Like, I think most porn is okay, but I don't like, uh, I don't like, I don't think it's cheating, but I wouldn't want my partner to do that. He's gay. <laughs> Depends on a reaction, getting caught while watching it. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> but what would you guys do? Like, what if he was, like, watching it, and he was, like, if he was watching it, and he was, like, you came in, and he was, like, oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, um, uh, nothing, not, what are you talking about, huh? What, this? Nothing, what are you talking about? I watch this all the time. I'm, I, I, I don't know. I was, like, on, I clicked on the wrong link. I don't know. Like, I clicked on the wrong link. I was just, like, um, I was watching, like, heterosexual porn and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? BBC Invasion 4? I don't know why that's on my phone. It was a misclick. I don't know. What, what do you, I mean, I'm five minutes into the video, yeah, but, like, I skipped around, you know, I skipped, I accidentally skipped the five minutes. I didn't know. Like I, I was, I was trying to watch something else. Like I, there was a, a busty Latina that I was watching. And then I, there was another link right there. The history. Don't worry about the history. Uh, what? 50, 45 minutes of you saying that the history was 45 minutes of, of gay porn. That's, I didn't know it was in the background. I was like making pizza rolls. <laughs> I'd be sad, haha. <laughs> I'd be waiting to say that, lol. Mm. I would ask him if he wants to pet if you if you want to peg him. <laughs> I'd probably question if he's gay. He's not really into me. Finish your business. Time to purchase a strap, I guess. Jeez. This happens to you, huh? So this happens to me? No, it does not happen to me. That's right. Yeah, Venom, thank you so much. Everybody like the stream. Ask him if it's a fetish. Um, it might be a gay fetish, right? I would I would have a problem. If I was a girl or a gay man, um sorry, if I was a girl, I would not like it, dude. Like it'd be one thing if you were watching If you were watching girls have a sex, like I would be like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Fine, whatever. I just found my GMA a cute chair to sit on outside Ooh, i like chairs chairs are cool what kind of chair is it venom oh no no tina no tina tana tana mary gray no I, I i've never had that happen to me before so i tried beating it to gay porn but it wouldn't work i remember one time i was dating this girl and she like watching gay porn and she's like you want to watch it with me and i was like uh sure because like here's the thing right i'm not gay obviously i'm really secure in my heterosexuality but um, you know, she watched porn with me before, so I was like, whatever. I watched it with her, and I was like, this shit is gay as fuck, dude. What are you doing? Why are you watching this shit? It was crazy. Like, one guy was chained up to the ceiling, and the other guy came in, and I knew he wasn't really gay. Like, I knew this guy wasn't gay. He literally came in, and his shit was soggy. His shit was literally flaccid. You know what I'm talking about? And he came in, it was slapping against his leg, so, you know... 
And then I saw his face. Like, I saw his face go like this. Like, I knew that he didn't want to do it. And then um, he fucking came up, and then he just started, like, slapping his shit around a little bit. So di- because, like, I don't know, dude. I don't, personally, I wouldn't be attracted either. Man or woman. If somebody was hanging from the walls like they were Spider-Man, like a symbiote caught them or something like that. And then um, the dude finally, like, he, he whipped it out and he started doing what he had to do. And I was like, this is really gay. Like, I don't know. What the fuck? To top it off, the cameraman was beating off, too. I don't even know what the fuck was going on. This was some severe homosexuality. But I'm not really into that shit. I'm not really into watching gay men have sex. So it's not my personal thing. What if you catch them watching the Weird Shit Online? Um, yeah, BDSM is like whatever, dude. Honestly, BDSM is like normal. I don't even know what this this other one is. Fen, Fen, uh, Fen Futiana? I don't know. Let's see what this is. Is this going to be something that's crazy? Here, let me see. Mm. I don't want to open up a fucking porn hub. Dedicated to girls packing more than you might expect. What? Oh, is this chicks with dicks? Oh, it's chicks with dicks. Okay, chicks with dicks. Okay, yeah. It's chicks with dicks. <laughs> it's just like anime girls with dicks? Is that what it is? Cool. <laughs> no, I mean... Uh, nah, I had a friend that was actually into watching chicks with dicks. Sounds Japanese. I've watched hentai before, but I don't really like it. Um, cause like anytime I've ever watched hentai, the, 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 the language is so bad. Like the way that they talk, if you're watching English dubs, no, I'm not that dumb. There's a reason why I got myself on full screen. So you guys can't see the, the desktop. You can't see the desktops and I got two screens. So like, just in case, you know, just in case I thought you were going to pop it on stream. Hey, what's going on? Maya profess, profess, pro pre. Fess. Prefess. Prefess. Yeah, I knew, I knew a Middle Eastern guy that was into watching chicks with dicks. But, like, the other way around, you know, like, women that were women but had, like, fake dicks. You know what I'm talking about? Like, uh, strap-ons or whatever, dude. He used to watch. He used to watch that. Uh, I'm not really into it. I'm not really into it, personally. Not really. Not for me. The English dub sucks. Yeah, I, I don't like it, dude. The English dubs for a lot of that stuff is really, really bad. Oh, Miss Meyer! I didn't know you were going to come in at 5 p.m. when I got off school. Well, Joseph, you know I was looking at you during class. But, but, Miss Meyer, you're, but I'm dating your daughter, not you. I can't date you, Miss Meyer. Shut up, Joseph. Get on your knees and do what you know best. And she'll have, like, the giantest boobs. And it's like, it just takes me out of it because I'm not, like... I'm a realistic person. I'm not trying to, you know what I'm talking about? I'm not thinking about a woman with, like, size 48. I don't even know what number that would even be. Z cups, like, personified. I don't like that shit. It's not for me, personally. But I know some people that are into it, and that's cool. Like, if you're into, like, uh, the suction cup plays or whatever, dude. Whatever, man. I'm not here to hate on anybody's kink. It is a little bit weird, though. Person, I mean, that's just what I think. No butt stuff for me. I'm intimidated by butts. Sometimes I get scared, of, scared of them. I really have nothing to offer this man. He has to support himself. Like, who are we talking about? Everyone to be patient, please. People do long distance. It's not that unusual. Yeah, but oh, you think so? I really have nothing to offer this man. He has to support himself. Like, you know, I. It's going to be hard here for me, so I have to worry about myself and he's helping me, but, um, yeah, so he's not a scammer. I literally have nothing to offer him to scam me for. Just my love. <laughs> That's so suspect. That's so, t- it's so suspect, dude. So suspect, dude. Hey, what's going on, Don? What's up? No wholesome cuddling porn? Um, I didn't even know that existed. Do people watch porn for cuddling? I knew one guy that used to watch porn recreationally. Like, I remember I met him one time at a coffee shop. And I swear, I walked up on him. I was like, hey, man. And on his phone was the hub. He had the hub on the phone. And I was like, what are you doing? He was like, oh, I just like watching it sometimes. Like, he wasn't beating off or anything. Like, he just watched it. Like, that's what he just told me. He's like, 
Like if me and you were to watch like a, I don't know, like a video together or something like that, he would do that for porn, which was like fine. I don't know, man. It's kind of weird, but um, give me one second. I'm going to go pee real quick. Okay, I'm back. Happy Friday indeed. Happy Friday to everybody. Anime type plot. Guy breaks into a girl's house. The worst thing is like when a guy breaks into a girl's house and the girl wants it. You know, she's like, oh yeah, you thought you were going to do something to me, but guess what? You're not. Dude, okay, you guys are, I don't know, like, <laughs> I ripped my shoelaces today, right? And then I decided to put on new shoelaces that I had. And I think I got them a little bit too long. I just look at look how long these look how long these laces are. Look at that. Dude, like it's so long. What do I do? I gotta buy new laces. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. They're so long. Like the stream? True. Everybody like the stream. Thank you, Florida girl. Bro, I had a girlfriend who was into that. Oh, really? Yeah, I had a girl, too, that was like... I knew a girl that was into that, too. She was like, I'm going to leave the key under the map. I I'm going to leave the key under the mat. I'll drug myself. And I was like, what do you want me to do? She was like, just do whatever you want. Like, I don't care. I don't... It literally doesn't matter. Like, I don't care what you do as long as you do it. And I was like, well, like, how, do you gonna, how are you going to know what I do? She was like, I don't care. Like, I'm just, I'm just into that stuff. And... Uh, so, I, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, some people are into that, you know, stuff like that. I'm personally not. But can you use one string on each boot? Reloop it? It's relooped pretty well. Oh, you mean like put it back through? Oh, I didn't even think about that. You could just put it back through, huh? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you're right. You could. I could just do that. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. It's not stupid, Don. You're good. You're good. You're good. I just, like, feel insane. Like, I can't keep, like, going back and forth and back and forth. But I can't decide, like, you know. Damn. Yeah, the seller comments are getting deleted because my mods, like, you know, that's why the mods, like, they respect me. They respect that, you know, my, my husband and the person I love. You know, even if, like, you don't like him, then, you know, still, it's still a respectful thing, like. I don't know. It's like, hi then. <laughs> I'm 
annoying! I'm so annoying! <laughs> I feel like I'm having an anxiety attack. Like, for real, I'm having an anxiety attack. Why did I come here? Oh, oh I don't like sleepaway camps. I get, I get homesick. Just breathe. <laughs> Thanks, Mama Tenny. Just <sighs> breathe. No, it's not a visa run. It's supposed to be a lifestyle Just change. Just breathe. I mean, I'm happy that Foodie Beauty is in a position now to where she can um, be herself more. She has mods? Who knew? I guess she has mods. I mean, how many views does she get on her um her 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 live streams? Damn, where the fuck is her channel at? What? Dude. Oh, here we go. Her live streams probably get a lot of views, right? So you're gonna need mods eventually when you get like a lot of views. Yeah, each one of her like live streams are getting like, I don't know, ten plus thousand views. So I mean I could I could believe that she's uh she needs some mods. People are going to say some crazy shit. And then also, you know, the environment that she breeds also is probably... Uh, it's a little suspect, you know? She says a lot of crazy stuff, and she's been in a lot of crazy situations. So I wouldn't even be surprised at the fact that she's, um... She needs mods or whatever. Dude, get this shit on my fucking face. Apparently enough views to have mods and hating. You were just surprised? Yeah. feel you but uh yeah foodie beauty's on some different shit now so she's in canada now she's also you know i guess she's feeling good i think she's feeling real good now number one chantal lies i thought it would be fun to start a new series and call it chantal demonstrates constant uncomfortable and let's take a look and see how rule number one applies to fasting during ramadan well, over there, I kept it more secret, what I was doing, like, just kind of, like, I did try to at first, but then, yeah, after I got not feeling too well, I started eating again and drinking, but <laughs> I don't announce it over there, Islamic country, you know? Damn, dude. I knew it, dude. Target these obese individuals and help them and get others onto the channel. That'll work out. Just look at Lizzo. She motivated a lot to work out. I think for somebody like Chantel or, like, Amberlyn Reed and other people like that, it's really up to them to decide for themselves. Like if somebody was in the fitness industry, decided to help them, it's not like that's really going to do anything because like, you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make a drink in the same way that, you know, they have to actually want to lose the weight. But I mean, we all knew that she was breaking rules of Ramadan. She's literally out here saying that she couldn't stop. Man, how obese you got to be to be sitting there during Ramadan and be like, I, I got to body slam this food. That's crazy. Crazy. I don't think it's a good idea. The fitness side of YouTube is already battling against fake natties. Really? Is that is that like a big thing? Yeah, I think I think they have to actually do it. It'd be good though if she reached out to like I promise, dude. Somebody like Foodie Beauty with 100k subscribers. That's really good, by the way. 100k. I'm not sleeping on that. I know a lot of people say that she. What did she do? Like she, a lot of people say that she took those subscribers and she faked them or she bought subs or whatever. That's, I mean, not good, but still like hundred K, a lot of people watch her. A lot of people like her a lot of, right. Um, she could easily hit up like a big fitness influencer and then work with them and do some stuff. I'm sure there are a lot of people over there in Canada that would work with her. Same thing with Amber Lynn. I think Amber Lynn could obviously like collab with a big dude. If foodie beauty and Amber Lynn had like a, Oh, we're going to collab with this guy and he's going to help me. It would be so lucrative for her. It'd be so lucrative for the other guy too, whoever the, the fitness influencer is. It would be awesome to see that. And I know a lot of people would love to see these people lose weight. And also, what I would really think is a great idea is if Chantel and Amber collab, dude. I know they hate each other. I know they don't like each other. But it would be like, it would be like the Avengers and the X-Men coming together. You know what I'm talking about? That would be so good. It would be so good, dude. Oh my God, the collaboration would be fucking insane, right? And I really feel like they both need a boost right now because they're at the lowest points they've ever been to. In the sense of like, for instance, um, Chantel is in a, in, a, in a situation right now where she has to move to back to Canada and Amber Lynn is like, I don't know, trying to find a new girlfriend, dude. And like, you know, things are just going crazy for both of them. So it'd be great if they could just collab with each other. It'd be awesome. Pretty be a professional... Uh, impatient program facility. I agree. I think she has a food addiction. She really should check that out. Imagine Lizzo with Joey Swole. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty cool. Foodie Beauty should collab with 
William Tension? Who is that? Oh, hey, what's going on, Meow? Greg Doucette would take a lot of money. Well, actually, it would probably be pretty lucrative for him if Greg got her on board. Because uh, Amber Lynn is actually, like, super popular, so. Or William Tension. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with this guy. I don't, I don't watch this good. So, See, foodie, this is where we're going to have to agree to disagree. You not only kept it secret, you actually actively lied about True. fasting during Ramadan. True. You like, did this it is why, if you're going to be a Muslim, right, if you're going to commit yourself to the Muslim lifestyle and things such and so forth, you need to actually commit yourself to it. You can't just be, like, picking and choosing on things that you can and cannot do. You know what I'm talking about? That's such a crazy thing. To be like, oh, yeah, it's it's Ramadan, but I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat. That's insane. <laughs> That's crazy. Tennyson, thanks for fixing the spelling. I figured it was wrong. Did in a couple of videos, especially towards the end before you left for Canada. There were so many reasons why you could have abstained from fasting, like your diabetes, taking medication. Instead, you insisted on putting on these little performances that everybody was questioning. True. So, for all of you who commented on my videos and maybe even on hers, Happy Friday! Happy no Friday! Happy Friday! I recommended to so funny. David will love Wills Jr. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. He's like a big bodybuilder guy. Sure, I'll look into him. Good numbers. They pick and they choose. Hey, what's going on, F.A.? No way she was fasting. Congratulations. You were right. True. Let me show you what I mean. Mr. Snowflake, I hope you're watching. All right, now I'm going to break the fast with a date or a camera and some water. Bismillah. Mm. Our first bite. Sorry to yap um, here, but let me explain Ramadan in short. You remind It's to remind people of the struggles of starvation that throughout the history. Basically, for one month annually, you can't eat during one... Yeah, you, don't, don't, feel, don't feel bad for talking. I love the context. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. Um, dead now. I don't know. Florida girl. I knew something... Great non judgment, stick to morals. She couldn't wait a couple hours to eat, bro. No, she couldn't. <laughs> she couldn't. She could not wait. Dude, look at her. Watch. Dude, this angle is. St oh my god. Sometimes, like, sometimes you can't, like, you know what I'm talking about? Because Foodie Beauty Foodie Beauty's so, like, you know, like, you just see her face most of the time. But then when you get that camera back, it's so crazy to see her body, and it's like, what the fuck, dude? Damn, she's so big. Sometimes I just get, I get, I get distracted by that. You can drink water though, right? During Ramadan, I know you could drink water and coffee because that's zero calories. It's Majin Buu. <laughs> Don't disrespect Majin Buu. Majin Buu did a lot of work during the Buu saga. Judge to discern, not to condemn. Now I can't unsee it. <laughs> so for Iftar, we decided to try this Italian restaurant that didn't serve Italian food. Dude, why does she close her eyes? Did she leave Islam? Not yet. No, she did not yet. She's still repping it, but she's also, um, can we watch the funny video I just sent? Sure. Uh, she's still repping it, but I'm pretty sure soon she's not going to. I'm pretty sure she's going to, like, get out of that whole bracket. If you're like me, you find it very hard to keep your dick dry. I left my dick unprotected and it was warped out of shape in no time. I could barely recognize my own dick. Imagine that. Then I discovered Schaefer's New Zealand style dick sealant. The best way to take care of your dick in three easy steps. First, wash your dick with soap and water. Then, wait for your dick to dry. 
Once your dick is clean and dry, paint your dick with Schaefer's Dick Sealant. I used to be too embarrassed to invite people over to see my dick. But now, my dick's the talk of the town. True. I even have pictures of my dick. Check out that dick. I'm gonna send this to my secretary. My iPhone is all Barbara always loves to receive my dick pics. After all, summertime is all about spending time on your dick. I'll often have 20 to 30 people on my dick at once. That can really wear your dick out, causing dick splinters and discoloration. But with Schaefer's Dick Sealant, my dick stays a nice golden brown colour. Who wouldn't want a golden dick? I used to never let children anywhere near my dick. My dick was too dangerous for cuds to play on. But it seems like every cud in the neighbourhood's been on my dick this summer. Damn. And I've all had a good time. Wow. My dick's over 70 years old, but it looks brand new. That's part of the reason all my neighbours are jealous of my dick. Wasn't that right, Jum? Yes, you've got a nice dick, okay? His wife is always on my dick, begging me to know the secret of my perfect dick. If you like Schaefer's dick sealant, check out Schaefer's New Zealand style cock. I had a huge hole in my dick, but I fixed it by jamming some cock in it. You'd be surprised how many things you could fix by jamming cock into them. Jesus, Have an extra large man. hole in your dick? Try Schaefer's African style cock. Just Damn. go to the local home improvement store and ask for the big black cock. Schaefer's New Zealand style dick sealant. Don't put it on your penis. Don't put it on your penis? There's also a helpful number on the back. Hi, I've got a question about my dick. Schaefer's New Zealand style- Hey, get that squirrel off my dick! He knows he's not allowed to come on my dick. Right around the time I turned 40, my dick became soft and spongy, and I never used it anymore. My wife wouldn't even sit on my dick, and the neighborhood cuts would all point and laugh. But that was before I discovered Schaefer's New Zealand style dick hardener. From the makers of Schaefer's Dick, dick hardener? It keeps your dick nice and hard, all Damn. year round, in three simple steps. First, grab a neighbour to help you, because making your dick as hard as a rock can be a two-man job. Then, rub the dick hardener into your dick. <laughs> rub the dick hard? hard? Rub the and when dick you get tired, hot? Take a break and watch your neighbour rub your dick. It's fun to watch someone else rub your dick. True. And finally, simply wait for your dick to get hard while you think about all the fun times you'll have this year. Yeah, this guy's wearing this, this. This is a wig, right? This has got to be a wig. Hey, David, I was wondering your opinion on ultra-processed foods and how... Those who struggle with ultra processed food addiction, its consequences, obesity, blame for their addiction. I think that ultra processed foods are how these companies try to blame the consumer versus their product reminds me of uh, uh, Oxycontin. I think that ultra processed foods are, they have their place within the, the food economy, I think. They're like, they, they, I don't think. I think that they should be there in the same way that I think that people have problematic views should also have the ability to say what they want to say. And if there's a market for it, I think that people should buy it. It's obviously not the best choice, never. But I think that people should be able to um, pick and choose the foods that they want. I ultimately think it comes down to like education because a lot of people – because you could sit there and say like, oh, it's processed foods. But a lot of people don't even know what that is. Like a lot of people will just sit there and go, what is processed foods? A lot of people in general don't even know what calories are. Like most people don't. They have no idea what calories are. So I don't even think it's the problem with the food. I just think that most people don't even understand what calories or nutrition is in general. So I think personally it should be more so about educating people. And I always say that people should probably – Public, the public school system should at least incorporate some degree of nutritional nutritional classes because you're going to be eating for the for your entire life, obviously. So you should have a baseline understanding of what food is and how it acts in your body. But we just don't have that. And people literally go their entire lives and have absolutely no idea what they're putting in their mouths. And they just assume that it tastes good, so therefore it is good. So I think for like really processed foods, I don't think it's the, the processed food that is the – inherent problem i think that it's like a gun right like guns themselves are not problems but the people behind the guns or like when you drive a car cars are great like they're amazing but if you use them for bad things then they're obviously used for bad things it's up to the individual to to make the, the right decisions as addictive as possible like cheetos caffeine literally you know mixing addictive chemicals yes but uh it's not food. It's like food product designed. Bliss point. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Just saying. Like sodas are most of the time you could buy a two liter for way way cheaper than a juice or a bottle of water. So like I understand it's way more incentivized to buy. Like there is predatory practices when it comes to a lot of those food prices, but um, it's like I there's nothing I would do about it. You know, because I think that. We're in a free market, so I, I think that these companies should have the ability to do these particular types of things unless the government feels like these things are really predative, predatory. Like, I really believe in the judicial system, so until this, like, you know, I, I think these companies should exist. I just, like, I mean, I hope just, I just really hope that these people can, like, really discern whether or not these foods are bad or good. <sighs> 
food fueled nutrition devil's advocate how hard is it to find information in 2024 uh i can't go a day without hearing about all these issues the way i like to look at it is like just because it's really easy to find information doesn't mean that people are going to do it like i know a lot of people it would be really easy for a lot of people to know a, a lot of things, right? But that, like, for instance, you could tell somebody how to make a billion dollars, but that doesn't mean they're going to do it. And some people are okay with being ignorant. Like, a lot of people are really okay with just doing what they do and not really looking past it. And even though the internet's, like, an amazing place where you can research literally everything and, like, invest tons of time into, like, learning new stuff, most people use internet, most people use the internet to, like, watch YouTube shorts for eight hours a day and then go to sleep and then go to their job and do that, and like, endlessly over and over and over again. And... I don't think those people are necessarily wrong for doing that. Like, I don't think that people are bad for living their life in that particular type of way. It's just what they want to do. And that's fine. It's completely fine. So just because the information is there doesn't mean that people are going to use it. But it's great that the information is there, if that makes any sense. I don't blame the addicts for the disease. I do blame the companies for selling the dangerous products, misleading the consumer. Hmm. Um, you don't blame the addicts. It's like, if there's the way I I can't, I can't like, if people care about themselves, um, it's not our job to make them care. That's, I mean, the way I like to look at it is like, if you're, if you're a woman and you're making porn for like OnlyFans, right? And there's no like direct contact between you and the person buying the product, and you don't know who that person is. You, they're just like a person on the screen that says, you know, somebody just subscribed to you for five ninety nine. So now they can see your catalog of vagina pictures and toes stuff and like that. Do you think you're a bad person for? Because this guy on the other end is broke. Like he has no money. His family is perpetually poor. His family is, you know, literally living in poverty because this guy's spending all his money on your OnlyFans. He's donating tons and tons of money to you. Um, but you necessarily are not in the wrong for that because you don't know that you're you're ignorant to that and all and obviously it's not your job to know that it, you're just the person on the other end that's supplying the demand right there's a demand to see your vagina and you're just supplying that demand would you get mad at the person supplying the vagina pictures or would you get mad at the person that's very very not good with their money you know what i'm talking about I just think it comes down to like people that are like there was a guy that we just watched last night on the on the on, on the channel that was um that he would get donated money like tons and tons of money like people will donate tons of money to this guy and instead of using the money to like better his life and buying furniture and investing in things that he can make his life better he instead takes the money and goes gambling with it like some people um have problems would you blame the casino would you blame the casino for that this guy would gamble regardless. Like, regardless of the casino existed or not, this guy has a problem, and he said as much. So, it's like, it just depends on what you're talking about. I know there are clueless people. Ultimately, it does come down to the people caring a lot about themselves. Yeah, I think it, I think ultimately it is a person. I do think that a lot of these companies are doing crazy, disgusting things in order to have people buy the particular types of food in order for people to continue buying the stuff i mean the, the food is literally fundamentally designed to be the best tasting shit on the planet so i 100 percent agree with that but um i oftentimes i can't really blame the companies because it's like it's their job to make money and it's their job to increase their their revenue so of course they're going to do what they can within the eyes of the law and i think that people should be as informed as humanly possible. And I think people should be as informed as humanly possible about literally everything. Like every election cycle, it's so crazy to hear people say, oh, I'm voting for, for this guy, I'm voting for this guy. And you go, why? And they go, I don't know, he said something one time. And that's it. Like that's all they need. And um, they, they're so disappointed when they're in like presidents or whatever. It's like that with everything. Like people are just chronically, even though we live in an era of information and everybody can have instant information and like literally at their fingertips, a lot of people are very misinformed nowadays or just don't know what the fuck they're doing. And it's really sad. Um, but, I mean, but, like, generally speaking, there's not really much you can do about it. Like, it's up to those people to do. It's up to those people to do it. I don't mind if it's on the market. It's immoral to lie, play lobbyist, obscure, true danger, the product and the consumer. I blame the spender, not the person making the content. Um, if they made it clear that these foods aren't 
the foods that they're actively. Yeah, but like, there's a reason why they don't make that stuff clear, right? Because they don't have to. Uh, it's the best to take accountabilities for ourselves because that's exactly that's exactly what I like to say a lot. It's like you can't control you can't control society, but you can control your own society. Like you can control yourself. So um, it's your job to understand food. It's really your job to like depend. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if you buy a game and the game turns out to be shit, and you're like, okay, this game company made a really shit game, and then like two years later they make a game again, and you're like, oh, this game's gonna be good, and you buy the game and it's shit, and then you do that three other times. And the game keeps coming out as shit. Stop buying the game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, eventually, it's up to that person to keep... The person is... keep like he, They keep buying that game. Um, the company's going to keep producing it. Like, why wouldn't they? If it's working. It's like Call of Duty every single fucking year. The games just continuously come out garbage. But people keep buying them. So why wouldn't they, see, they keep, keep selling them? Um, I'm not against accountability. True. True candy. Um, how do you know what foods are, foods are good? I uh, personally, I just want companies to have honest to promote their products. I have taken nutrition courses and research nutrition information. Ultra processed foods are not true foods. Um, they're, you know, like. For certain places in the world, I think ultra-processed foods are probably the better choice since, like, a lot of countries might be impoverished. And having ultra-processed food compared to no food is probably really good. But the problem oftentimes is that here in our countries and, like, other really, really, like, westernized countries is that, you know, they're they're capitalist-run, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Like, you can find a lot of problems with capitalist countries. Um, So there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of reasons why companies like they, there's no inc- there's no incentive for them to tell the truth if they don't have to, um, or they could just I guess sugarcoat it or put on like an illusion like technically tell you the truth but within like a layer behind it you know what I'm talking about. I think they make things clear enough. Um, they have the ingredients on the back. The ingredients can be researched easily. I'm not sure what the companies are meant to do. Um, the sackers lie about the dangers of drugs, and even uh, inside the jail. Legal is not always moral. That's true. Just curious. What do you want them to say? The companies. Mm. Studies because they care. Most people don't care. Even if you put huge danger in front of the box. Oh, it's like cigarettes, right? Everybody knows that cigarettes are really bad for you. But people still smoke them because, like, they know that they're bad, right? So I think that it's ultimately up to the individual. Like, we need – we just need more – we just need a more informed individual, um, general public – because if uh, if people are more informed, the companies will stop producing terrible products if people stop buying them. But until that happens, you know, I can't blame the companies or I can't blame the person making the product if the product is wanted, if that makes any sense. Like, I think Twinkies are gross, but there's a lot of people that buy them. So it's like, I don't want to I don't want to take away the Twinkies. If you want to do that, then that's fine with you. Like in the same way that I think that if somebody wants to smoke cigarettes, I know they're terrible. You know, they're bad. Everybody knows they're bad. But if they want to do it, they're, I think they should be free to. It's a can. Uh, it's a mission to make money. They are legally required. Yeah, yeah, they have to. Up to the consumers to vote with their pockets. Exactly. I agree with Don. The experience worst case in obesity. Yeah, but like people should be free to be obese. Like I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with people that want to be obese in the same way that I think that if somebody wanted to like, you know, fucking live a terrible life on the street and not have any responsibility, I think people should be able to make those decisions. Like I'm I'm all a fan of people being individuals and having the ability to make their own decisions. So Um I think sedentary lifestyles contribute more to obesity, but I could be wrong. Sedentary lifestyles do contribute more. No, the poor diets 100% contribute more to obesity. But the thing about living in a westernized country is that we outsource a lot of our general labor. So um, a lot of the stuff that we do nowadays that would put you in a place to where you would work outside, we don't really do anymore. And if we do, we usually have equipment or um, technologies that can pick up the slack where people ordinarily would have to, but we don't need to anymore. Which is a good thing, by the way, because it also incentivizes women to work in the workplace, which is great too. Money should not be made knowingly harming people. Um, money should not be made knowingly harming people. I would have to think about that. 
Also, people are serving size would also be smaller. Uh, they shift on the cigarettes marketing. In the case of the study, harmful ingredients came before transparency applied to food. Diet controls weight. Excess controls fitness. Exercise controls fitness. I'm not saying outlaw it. Just honest labels. Mm, free will. I think you have to assign moral status. You have to assign moral status to processed food. Oxycontin is now black labeled and restricted. It is? I used to know people that used to sell that. Oxys? It was like 50 a pill. Um, maybe more actively means higher BMR, which gives you more higher wiggle room. These foods should be labeled uh, as not food. Uh, they are not bad. They are critical for people with limited access. You can't outrun bad diets. True, you cannot. Yes, Oxy is highly blacklisted. But isn't... Just as bad. You can get an extra couple hundred calories, but couldn't outrun a bad diet. Yeah, I, I feel like we just leave it up to the people. I think that that's really what it comes down to. If it just comes down to um very poor pi finances and things like that, if you... We should leave it up to the individual at the end of the day. Like, I don't think it's a good idea to, like... I don't think it's a good idea to tell people to not do something, and if they don't want to do it, then just have that person like take them away from society that never works like that never works and like i'm all for having different opinions i think people should talk more i think people should be more well informed because getting rid of somebody completely off of like one particular aspect of society it's not going to help anything you're just like you're just annexing the people that you're just going to make it seem like those people are not welcomed and then all their community is just going to go over there which is not a good thing and the same thing could be said with like food i think that for instance um a lot of the foods at mcdonald's are like not good for you but people still eat at mcdonald's so it's okay like it is what it is i think people should be free to make bad decisions and i get what you're saying like they should mark they should market the food as um not food but i don't think that would necessarily do anything given the fact that we have tons of examples of things that are literally terrible for you that people do all the time like it's you know cigarettes smoking cigarettes doing drugs like people consume drugs people do terrible things all the time and uh, that doesn't necessarily, like, mean that they're going to stop it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think, okay, hear me out. Does everybody, I think everybody will agree that, like, Little Debbies are not good for you. There are very few people on the planet that will look at a Little Debbies and think that shit's good for you. But they still eat it because why not? That's what they want to do. Same thing with sodas. Most people know that soda's not good for you. But they still drink it, you know? It is what it is. Some people need to depend on processed foods. A lot of people in low-income places do, but um, they can also buy, like, higher-quality foods. So, I mean, I see what you're saying, Maya. Yeah. Um, you can outrun a slightly bad diet. I'm not saying people should eat garbage. I think it should be there, though. Like, I think people should fully have the ability to eat the terrible, disgusting garbage. Like, I think it should be there. Counting calories is hard when you cook from scratch. I agree. That is hard. It is hard to count calories, B. Information is key. I understand what you're trying to um, write. Just however, this will not work. When people are educated, we as people force. I yeah, I agree, David. Uh, but this won't happen. There's takis. True. No, where's my takis? True. Um. People should be given real information about food. Yeah, I think that since we um, subsidize a lot of places, I think the public school system, since the majority of people in America go to some public school, I think there should be at some point, I mean, we already subsidized uh, sex education, and I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I personally think that nutritional understanding is much more important than sex education since, um, I mean, let's be honest, people nowadays are not even having sex anymore. I mean, I'm, I'm, I still think it's a good idea to have sex education, but I would personally think that food education is way more important than sex education, given that you're going to be eating for literally your entire life. Like most people up until a certain point are not even going to have sex. So I think, but I'm saying we should have both, right? I think that there should be a food education system somewhere in the public school system at the bare minimum because so many people are literally ignorant to what even – like what, what they're even putting in their mouths, let alone like what are calories, carbs, and all this other stuff. Like macro and micronutrients are like completely oblivious to most people. Yes, but alcoholics – don't lament needing drink to survive because they don't view it like water. A lot of people do though. A lot of alcoholics rely on alcohol. Your body 
your body, you should control it. Um, it's just like, it's like the argument of somebody that like wants drugs. Like, you know, the war on drugs, right? Like the war on drugs didn't actually do anything. Like we know that, right? Like we, we can look back at like what happened with the war on drugs and we can see what Nixon did. We can see what Gerald R. Ford wanted to do. And it was a good intention, like, you know, but we can see now that all it did, like if somebody wants to do drugs, they're going to do drugs, right? They're going to do drugs and making it harder is, is just going to make the person that's going to buy it more willing to like go for it, if that makes any sense. So I think that a lot of the time when it comes to a lot of this stuff, it needs to just be left up to the individual. If somebody wants to buy drugs, they're going to buy drugs. If somebody was going to kill somebody, they're probably going to kill somebody. Um, hopefully we can just educate people based off of the inform, like educate people as much as you possibly can. And um, what are we talking about? We're just talking about like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Uh, really disgusting um, food, like bad foods and how people should, how, how we should regulate the foods. Uh, processed foods, by the way, processed foods. That's why I care so much. Not the only person being myself. I don't want people going through it too. Yeah, but like the thing is like um, people should have the choice to go through it. Like if somebody wants to, like as much as I think somebody's spending all of their money and all of their time on like OnlyFans models and buying feet pictures and smelling vagina pictures through a screen or whatever. I think it's terrible, obviously, if you're wasting all your money and your family suffering and all this other stuff. I think people should be able to make those decisions given the fact that we live in a, a, a society where people should be able to make those decisions. So even though I know it's bad and it's not good, I think people, the individual, should be left up to make that decision. You know? And I don't think we should blame the person that has the um, – the, the, What's the word I'm looking for? Like the individual that's supplying those particular things. Like it's not necessarily their fault. It's the person that's doing it. There wouldn't be a market for it if that uh, if that person didn't want it. The heaviest I got 180. Got to your normal weight of 129. That's really good. 129. I bet you look amazing at that size, Candy. Sadly, most people don't like to cook and care and cook. Also. Uh, a lot of people burst into motivational cook. Yeah, so we have a lot of reasons. Like, we have we outsource a lot of our food, too, nowadays. Like, uh, tons of delivery apps and things such and so forth. And, you know, people do it, so. I, I would want people to actually cook their own food and make whole foods and things such and so forth. But if you don't want to do that, I think people should be able to, you know, decide to do that. David, please watch The Disturbing Reality of Ultra Processed Food by Kana, if you're interested. Sure, we'll look it up in a sec. I want people to be giving the true info, not saying they shouldn't be sold, just properly labeled. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that, Candy. I think they should be properly labeled. But Candy, if you have the truth, what's stopping them from getting that truth? True. That's also a good point. Yeah. Mm, like for, you know, what's a good, a good example is that even though they label the calorie counts on a lot of like food items in McDonald's, for instance, like everything is clearly labeled, right? In McDonald's, people – bro, McDonald's is, like, more popular than it's ever been. People don't care. Like, a lot of people are just buying what they want. Companies should not be allowed to obscure the reality of the danger of the products. Uh, if the government deems that to be a thing. Like, I, I fully believe in the, the checks and balance of the United States government. So – if if the government had deemed this to be something that's okay, like things do get better over time. So maybe in like a few years, if, if it turns out to be a problem, it, you know, it turns out to be a problem. Food is labeled, all ingredients listed, insured, companies can do. What am I missing? I don't think you need to regulate the food. It's the free market. People need to take their health into their own hands. I'm sorry if that's controversial. I'm not sure where this comment section. So I agree with you, um, Stephanie. I 100% I agree. I think people should be able to make their own decisions. Like if somebody wants to body slam copious amounts of calories from McDonald's, feel fucking free to do so, dude. 100%. If you want to be obese and you want to live a lifestyle of literally debilitating yourself, feel fucking free to do so, dude. I think it's great that we have the ability for people to do that. I mean, I don't agree with those lifestyles. I don't. I fundamentally disagree with it. But I think people should be able to make those decisions shouldn't be hard to find the truth shouldn't be hard to find uh most of the places most it's like most of the calories are lift, listed i mean a lot of the labels could be a little bit like you know random ingredients that people don't know about but um 
you know, it's like, what do you, what do you, there's really not much you can do. Like, what do you want the labels to like include exactly what this is and uh, increase, like scan a QR code and find out what these ingredients do to you? Recomp gang? True. Recomping is beautiful. I'm just not seeing where the miseducation is you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I can say on that is like, I think that people should be able to freely make their own decisions, but I just wish people were a little bit more informed. And, you know, the best way to inform people is having conversations like this and having people that are willing to actually um, talk about things and such and so forth. And I, I think that should be where, where it is. True. Remember to join the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> True. The label shouldn't be hard to read. I agree. But the labels is like a lot of the stuff on labels is like hard to read because most people don't even know what it is. So I think that it should just come down to education. I don't think it just depends. Like regulation government side is like really important for certain things. But I also think sometimes through those particular boundaries, I don't think it necessarily makes it a, a better thing sometimes. facts on front i'm not going anywhere i'm just gonna go put on some sweatpants i'm gonna like shift myself over here i'm still reading all the stuff and stuff like that give me one sec I put on sweatpants. Ultra processed foods are pre-digested though. I mean, I see what you're saying, but um, I think people should be able to do what they want. Like, I don't think it's a good idea. Like, for instance, you remember when they got rid of vaping? That didn't do anything. Like, here in my state, they got rid of all the flavors of vaping. I still see people vaping consistently for flavors. They buy them out of state or whatever the fuck. Same thing with cigarettes. You're making them more expensive. People are still buying them or they're getting them from other places. Like, I just... I'm not saying that we shouldn't have it. Like, I think drug use is obviously bad depending on the drug. Like, some drugs are obviously okay. I'm okay with people doing alcohol and, like, indulging and things such and so forth. Um... I think obviously some drugs are worse than others, but I think people should be free to make their own decisions. You know, as long as it's not affecting other people and other stuff like that. Um, I'm just like, a, I'm a big fan of the individual first. Like I want people to be able to make their own decisions. Obviously, I think the government should have a monopoly on violence and they should obviously tell us what is and what is not good. And through time, we have gotten it wrong, obviously. Certain things like the war on drugs and other things such as so forth. Like we ban things that don't make any sense and then eventually we unban them. Like I'm a big fan of like, I think prostitution, like it is in other countries, should be legal. I don't know why here in the states of America, with the exception of, I believe, what's that? What's that one state? What stays in Vegas? In Vegas, I think it is legal. I don't know why it's illegal. We sell pornography all the time. I think that, like, it's like, what are you, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. They could even tax it. I don't know, man. I think people should be up to, like, be have the ability to do what they want to do. should not be labeled on food sure i mean you could say that i under i understand what you're saying candy but i just don't think that it would really do anything like personally i i i don't know like the statistics on this i don't know uh like this is just like headcanon there are plenty of things that are properly label labeled that are very, very disgustingly bad for you, right? Like, if you buy cigarettes here in the States, if you look on the back of the cigarettes, it will show you, like, somebody's deceased lungs or something like that. Yet, people still smoke cigarettes. Like, we spent literally, um, we spent literally, like, decades uh, here in America trying to convince people not to smoke cigarettes, right? And eventually, I feel like it's a dying thing. Like, most people are not smoking cigarettes nowadays. But guess what they're still doing? They're vaping. A lot of people vape. A lot of people vape. So we spent so many years convincing people to not to not smoke cigarettes only to switch it over to something like vaping, which may or may not be worse than smoking cigarettes. And um, I don't think it necessarily does anything. And the same thing for like, you remember those anti-drug campaigns? Like, we literally had entire decades. I remember growing up. People would literally 
have I remember have seminars in school, like hour long seminars in school where people would just say like, don't do drugs. You know, weed is bad for you. This and that ads on TV, whatever. I remember watching literally Cartoon Network and having those ads come on telling people not to smoke weed. Everybody smokes weed now, like everybody. People know it's bad, but they still do it. Yeah, I think I think companies, uh, I don't know. It, it just depends. Like, I see what you're saying, though. I understand your point. I just wish people were a little bit more informed on particular points when it comes to nutrition. Like, I wish we had a, a rudimentary knowledge because I run into so many people nowadays that don't even understand what calories are. And uh, that's like the number one thing that you should you should know about when it comes to understanding food is is the calories the calories should be the number one thing um everything else is secondary when it comes to like nutritional right like carbs fats micronutrients macronutrients and uh that stuff's like secondary but people should baseline we should be teaching people about calories the most the most too many people don't even know what that is we could possibly use more fiber but carbs are friends in moderation i love carbs dude Carbs are great <clears throat> for me personally. I know that a lot of people don't like them, though. Weed can be medicine. I agree. Weed can be medicine for certain people, sure. I just think it comes like it, once it's a problem, it's a problem. You know, like if you're watching porn, then it's not a problem. You know. But if you're watching too much porn, then it's a problem. If you're eating too much food, <clears throat> then it's a problem. But I respect your, I respect uh, what you're saying, Candy. I don't agree like fully though, but that's okay. You know what, B? I totally, I totally agree with you, B. I totally agree. I think that if women want to sell their bodies and they want to do it in a responsible way and it can even be taxed or like whatever, dude, I'm totally fine with taxes. Like, I think it's a great thing that we pay taxes, right? I'm fine. Every single year when I have to like put down money to the government, I'm fine with that. No problem. Um, but like I, I sometimes I think about like, dude, like our, our sex industries are are literally blowing up right now. Like sex is more valuable than it's ever been ever. Dude, what's up with the government not wanting a little piece of that, dude? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I, I That's like something I'm super, super like, man, I, I feel so strongly about that. Sex work, I'm like totally fine with sex work, dude. I, I, I think that like if you want to do it, I think of it's like any other job. Like if you're doing any job in the world, you're getting paid to do something you don't want to do. And if you want to get, you're going to get paid more money to do that from somebody that wants to pay you money to do that. I think it should be okay to do that. You know, yeah, I see what you're saying, Missy. I see what you're saying, Miss Mary. It's like that with ice cream with me, dude. I got the bubble go and I eat ice cream. Too much of anything is bad. Exactly. Florida. I just want my taxes to be used properly. Yeah, I wish they would give us some type of like receipt or something like that. To see what the fuck the taxes are going to. We live in a Christian country. I just wish we had a little bit more um, people that are informed. That's what I wish. I want a proper... Social safety net, tax reform, and reasonable wealth divide. Uh, I think we're doing okay now. Like, I mean, it could be better. Um, I think that rich people pay money and things such as a fork. Maybe they could pay more money. I don't know. I do believe in, like, um, we pay our taxes. We file 1099 sole partnership on OnlyFans. Oh, you do you do, uh, you do do OnlyFans? Um. Deborah, you do you do OnlyFans? De De Deborah Goon. Yeah, of course, Miss Mary. I love spending with I sp I love spending time with you guys.
super super amazing you know you guys are like my um (laughs) what's the word i'm looking for like my therapy this is like therapy for me if std skyrocket well stds have gone down like crazy in the last um i don't know what the word i'm looking like in the last 30 40 years stds have like literally sky skyrocketed down and teenage pregnancy is like gone down by like astronomical percentages since like the uh the 80s and um i think that is awesome like that's fantastic and then also nowadays people are having the like the least amount of sex that they've ever had ever and that has a lot to do with social media that has a lot to do with porn and easy accessible internet that can give you substitution for like actual sex so i don't know actually if prostitution would even increase the sexual like value of things and i'm not saying prostitution like i think if you had like a a a company of prostitutes or something like that like they do in the uk it's all taxed over there they run um sti checks they run std checks it's not like you can just go on the street and just like sell yourself over there like if it was like that and it was like a company oriented based thing or maybe you can like you know what i'm talking about i don't know there's plenty of ways to do it um you know but it might not even be like that because you know like most porn in the united states now which is like for instance like only fans most porn produced on only fans is just girl girl doing stuff like dildos and vibrators and stuff like that like uh, that's that's the most produced porn on OnlyFans. So I don't even know necessarily if it will um, if it will rise the thi- rise the chances of STDs or STIs and things like that. Like as time has progressed, I feel like we've gotten more intelligent, which is great, um, or at least we've become more informed. It's just not we're that we're not that informed. Bleach drink me, just pop in to say hi for a minute. Hello, bleach drink me. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you tremendously. I just popped in to see what condition my condition was in. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, what condition my condition was in. You guys ever watch this guy's channel? Um, My experience being ugly. Have you guys ever seen this? So first of all, this is my microphone. It's quite broken, and uh, I'm I've been drinking a lot of this right now, so I'm sort of drunk, and I'm feeling really down, like extremely down. And Performers do the why. boy girl it's and get tested every two weeks. Yeah, that's what I thought. Life, I've been f- treated quite bad. I should also say. Like, this is a warning, my English is not that good, and, like, I'm just, I feel, I feel really alone, and I felt... I'm actually so glad that America has opened with their sex, because, uh, look at all the countries, sex representation, I think it's a bad idea to, like, criminalize sex, I think it's a very bad idea, because, um, like, I think that, I think that sex is, like, Everybody wants to do it. There's always a market for it. And if you want to pay somebody for sex, I don't think it's a bad thing. And it seems like whenever you do something to, like, withhold sex or, like, not be open with sex, it seems like it always it always fucks with women. Like, women are always getting the, the, the bum end of the stick because ultimately women are the ones who control sex the most, right? Because, um, I mean, men want sex. And obviously, men can't have sex without women being there, right? So with that in mind, it's usually women that are ones that like perpetually fucked by that. It's like Middle Eastern countries, like women have almost no representation. Like sure, it's getting better and better and better. And hopefully eventually they hit a pinnacle to where like it's like here in America. To where like women are like fairly represented and like we love women and shit like that. But I mean, I just hope that it, 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 it's, it gets faster. Like it's, it's, you could tell. He talks in English. He's got that Swedish accent. I love the Swedish accent. It's great. Like I was gonna search. Also YouTube. recommended the Divide. The great documentary about the wealth gap uh, in the UK following the Reagan. Oh yeah, I, I know about the wealth gap and how it like how big the wealth gap and trickle down economics and things such and so forth. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big I'm a big proponent of um, social networks and things such and so forth. Like I I think they're good. So 
for people with the same that, that, that dude actually got me you ruined it b i know he did get married so so fyi since b ruined it no b i'm playing you didn't ruin it but this just like this this particular video always gets me so so it makes me feel good because like you can be at your lowest point in your life and then like in the period of six years right he's gotten married he's saying that in this video he's like i'm ugly women don't ever want to date me this and this and this or whatever but he's gotten married he's found somebody that he loves his life is really successful now he's doing what he wants to do like this you know to me it's it just screams like you can do it too you know even if you feel like you're at the worst point of your life um it's only up from there it can only get better and then usually it does right and i love that i fucking love that i love it so i love it so 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 much that people can rebound from situations like that and sometimes when i see people that are at the lowest point they think it's over it's never over dude you can do it you can drag yourself out of this hole that is being really unattractive and i've been having lots of issues with that because every no, video okay, i come B. across is with a really attractive or normal person and they have no idea how how it really is so first of all right now i'm putting up quite of a show so if you think that i look pretty good right now it's because i'm doing my absolute best to show you that I like look he's good. not even ugly you know oftentimes when i see guys say they're ugly it could be like little things that they can do to change themselves to make themselves more attractive like a haircut or maybe you can change the clothes um maybe you can grow a beard maybe there's a bunch of things that you could do to improve yourself as a man and it's really crazy because like for men improvement is like Oh my God, it's so open. It's so open to improve yourself as a man, physically speaking, right? Um, and, and also like deep down, like making yourself a more intuitive person, somebody that can actually deal with problems and not just an emotional brick. Like women really find it attractive when a guy is actually emotionally connected. Um, so these things are like super important, like, you know, that, that, that can turn you from literally a four to a seven in like literally a month if you work on yourself you can you can really get up there it's also the cam so first of all my teeth are fucked up and i'm pushing forward my jaw all the time i have extremely much no one is truly ugly skin this is nothing i can do anything about i've been i agree checking this i up. agree oh my god Marie, oh my god, I agree so heavily, dude. Like, I think I hate it so heavily when people are in relationships with somebody and they have no, they have no type of like self-respect for themselves. The confidence that they emanate, like, I, I can't be with somebody. I need to, I need to know, I need to be with somebody that thinks they're the shit consistently. Like, don't get me wrong, it's okay to have moments in your life where you're looking down and like you have, you know, you're not um fully like you're going through depression maybe or whatever. Like, that's okay, but. I need to, I like, I, you know, personally speaking, I love boss, boss queens or whatever, like uh, girl bosses. I need to know that the person is like really, really secure in themselves and they have to be like, that's just like really attractive to me. I feel like most people are like that though. Like, I don't want to be with somebody that like shit, you know, you ever be with somebody, you ever be with somebody and they go, oh my God, you're so much better than me. Like you're so, you know, you're so much funnier. You're so much, you know, you do all this stuff. Like I, you know, that, that stuff's really ugly. That's gross. Like don't, don't ever throw yourself down to lift somebody else up. That's not, that's not good. As a not attractive person, I never felt like I needed to be physically attractive. I just mid max my personality as much as possible. So like, that's exactly what I think, Don, because you can offer somebody like you can still do a lot to like physically enhance yourself. But if you know that you've reached the pinnacle of what you can do physically speaking, um, there are plenty of things that you can do into like really just push yourself as much as you can. Like so many guys just being a man and having the ability to brush your teeth, wash your hair, um, shave consistently, right? Have more than three plates in your house. The, have the ability to take care of yourself. That's literally putting you at like 90% better than most men. Like that shit is so – that's going to enhance you tremendously. Anyone can find love. Look at Foodie Beauty. Well, I, <laughs> I don't think that's a good uh, – you know, Foodie Beauty is like very bottom of the barrel in terms of the men that she's dated. So, I mean, but you're right though. Yeah, that's a great thing, though, Don, about women is that women are more likely to forgive physical appearance compared to – I feel like men really predominantly look at women's physical appearances more than they do other things because I've dated plenty of women. And I know I'm not the most attractive person. 
Um, but I could probably make up for it in other places, right? And I know plenty of other guys that could do that. Like, you may not be the best looking guy, but you're probably good in social situations or you're funny or like there's other values that I feel like a lot of women are looking for. And that's really good. Like, that's fantastic. You know, like that stuff's like you can do that stuff. Start believing that you are the shit. It works. True. I agree. I agree so much, Meow. Um, you think you're ugly? Stop. No kid. Not kidding. Most men are attractive by being funny. A hundred percent. That's true. That's totally true. Hey, what's going on, Venom? Happy you're back. Oh, we're just talking about like I don't know attractiveness. I suppose. As an ugly person, it only matters what is on the inside. <clears throat> so like physical looks will get you in the door. <laughs> being be, being good attractive like physically attractive and like here's the thing too as a man like you can you can dress well like you can put on nice wear clothes like people sleep on the fact that if you dress well that will do a lot for you wearing nice clothes um and this doesn't mean expensive clothes you can wear plenty of nice clothes that are not expensive you know um and the same thing with your confidence like the way you walk the way you carry yourself and i say this often like a guy that is like, if you're a shorter guy, let's say, for instance, you're, like, 5'5 five, five or something like that, if you act like you're 5'5, five, five, then people are going to catch on that you're 5'5. Five, five. But if you act like you're taller than you actually are, you know, if you actually take up space and you actually know what you are and you know how to, like, represent yourself, dude, like, that, you know what I'm talking about? You you don't have to act like you're 5'5. Five, five. You can act like you're 6 feet. You get what I'm talking about? <clears throat> Some people become more attractive when they get older. I look like a frog in my 20s and now I'm in my early 30s and I feel very pretty. I agree, actually. I think I had a major glow up as well. I look like a fucking a grease stain under like a, an Indian guy's armpit in my early 20s. I was terrible, disgusting, awful. But now I think I look decent. I look like I'm probably a five or a six some days. So I know exactly what you're saying, B. I actually agree with you tremendously on that one. Thought I have so much blue skin. It makes me look terrible. I have a big forehead. And my hair is making me look really good. But if you would take away the hair, like, I yes, guess pretty bad yep. BDE, ever. big dick energy. 100% big dick energy, dude. Represent it, dude. Represent it. And you know what? You should know what you bring to the table as well. Like, you should really, really, really um, emphasize what you have as much as you can. Play with the cards that you're dealt. You know what I'm talking about? That's what people should do the most. Understand what you bring to the table and work based off of those things. Understand yourself. I'm 5'7", so it's going to – so I think I'm going to notice if you're 5'5". Five five. Yeah, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I never understood the height thing. Growing up, height wasn't a big deal. Uh, yeah, but it, it, I don't think it's a big deal anymore either. I think that there are a few select – it's difficult to say this, but I've met a bunch of girls. I was talking to these girls, and these girls were – so bad dude they were so bad i was talking to these girls and she was like these girls were like mm, i can't date a man that doesn't have a master's and i was just thinking like what the fuck a fucking master's and they'll go like oh yeah i can't date a guy that makes less than 100k i can't date a guy that you know like all these restrictions and most of these restrictions like these girls were like 21 like 21 22 and i was thinking like what guy in your age bracket is gonna have a fucking master's degree what are you fucking talking about like, that's ridiculous. 100K at 2021? That's not going to happen. That's ridiculous. 100K in general is, like, never going to – that's, like, so few percentage of the population. <clears throat> it's got to be a good-looking guy. It's got to be Christian. It's got to – you know, it's so many things, man. Um, and you know what? They're younger girls. So, like, they were 20. I don't – I mean, it's not a good idea to have obviously, but they just need to learn. They, they're lacking life experience. They don't understand that these things are – even though you may think that you want a guy that has – that, like – a guy that makes 100K, dude, this guy's going to be working all the fucking time, okay? Like, unless he's, like, a business owner and he's, like, passively making income, he's going to be fucking working a lot, okay? And he's going to have a long – he's going to have a lot of uh, not not you time. And it was uh, – what year was this? This year. This year. This year, Don. This year. He ain't the ugliest. I'm um, 5'5". Five, five. I wish I was taller. But you got high heels? Me too. I got boots. And it makes me – it makes me taller. But um, I feel like people just don't understand that, like, what you want now may not be what you want when you're in your later 20s or your 30s or 40s. It's like you're just lacking life experience, you know? A lot of that stuff is not that big of a deal. 
I'm sorry for guys in their 20s. I'm in my 40s, and it was, it was not like 20 years ago. Yeah, it's really bad now because of social media. A master's takes like 10 years to achieve. What the fuck? I don't know, man. I, I feel, But then again, like these particular girls, I feel like they weren't a reflection of what girls are in real life. Like you ever see those videos where people get asked dumb questions and they respond like, what? They're like, can you name three countries? And they'd be like, yeah, um, uh, North America, Africa, and Australia. And then you'd be like, oh man, but it's like the whole video. And they just pick and choose people that are dumb people. You know, like that's, it's what it is. Yeah, uh, they were just not the not a, not a reflection of women, but just like a very small subsect of women that say this. And it's like it's not all women, obviously, obviously it's not. But sometimes you hear it and you're just like, this is fucking jarring to listen to. Like <laughs> these women have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. And don't get me wrong, men are also in the same bracket. I've heard many men that have said they're like, yeah, dog, I just want a bitch with big titties. I just want a bitch that don't. I want a bitch that don't know how to talk, and I want a bitch that don't know how to read. And then I think. That's fine, but then once you get a woman like that, you're probably not going to want it. You know, it's probably not going to be what you actually want. I'm 5'8". Basically, every guy I've dated has been shorter than me. I don't mind it at all. Yeah, short kings, bro. Short kings. My 30s, but dating wasn't bad for me. 5'8 is a good height. I agree. But why no sex? What do you mean, why no sex? Really big, bulky nose, and my lower lip is a lot bigger than my higher lip. Like my higher lip is normal, the rest is not. How many so countries I'm using in the world? My for? hair, I let it, I'm letting it grow. Yeah, out. a lot like, of a lot of those a lot of those um answers are just like they pick and choose. They're real people, but it's not like real people. Yeah, I don't, I don't like those Red Pill podcasts, man. They're so terrible because they bring in, like, the most low intelligence women ever. And then all it does is just reconcern. Like, the people that watch those Red Pill podcasts are, like, literally looking to f confirm their own biases. Like, oh, yeah, women are dumb. They don't know anything. They should just stay in the kitchen. And then they, they, they go, like, I know they're like this. And they see the women on the podcast that are literally all like that. Like, I don't know about that. And they're just like, I knew it. I knew. I knew women are fucking dumb. It's like, I don't know, they just pick and choose very low-quality women. And you know what's really interesting about a lot of those women that go on those particular podcasts? Is that I've seen it so often where they go, oh, I went on that podcast because the next day after I was on that podcast, I made like $15,000 for my OnlyFans because all those guys that are red pill guys that get no pussy because most of them are virgins anyway are subscribing to the OnlyFans because they saw them on the fucking... <laughs> The whatever podcast. So it's like, ultimately, it's better for the women. So I don't, whatever, man. Yes, why no sex? True. You said uh, people aren't having sex. Oh, um, so people, the reason why a lot of people nowadays are not having a lot of sex is because we have big industries in sex work. So porn is the biggest it's ever been. Like, we have entire industries based off of um, sex. So a lot of guys find it, a lot of men nowadays, for instance, right, have a very hard time talking to women because they've never actually had communications with women. And women are very intimidating to people that have never talked to women. And maybe you've watched porn your whole life, so you think women act in a particular type of way. It's like it builds up, right? At one point, let's say 30 years ago, before porn was like really as big as it is now, um, you did probably, you had to talk to women. You had to, there was no other way. Like you had to talk to girls. You had to go on dates. You had to actually interact with women. But what happened in the last few years is that you don't need to anymore talk to women because you could just, I don't know, pay five ninety nine to for an only fan subscription. And you can watch a girl play with her feet for 45 minutes. And that's what you want to do. And there's nothing inherently bad for that. Like if you want to watch somebody beat off for 45 minutes, that's okay. But it takes away a lot of the aspects from actually having sex or building relationships and interacting with other people because you don't need to do that anymore. You could just beat off for 20 minutes and then you're good and then you don't need to do that anymore. So a lot of relationships and a lot of people that would have been in relationships are no longer being in relationships through maybe one of two things. It's either they have no social interactions because they've been on the internet for their own entire lives and the thought of talking to a woman is like ungodly levels of fucking cringe. They can't do it. It's like impossible for them or they just don't want to waste the time on women anymore because they could just watch women beat off on porn or whatever so not all men not all men and i'm sure this also affects women to a certain degree as well 
But um, that's one of the reasons why we have, like, no sex nowadays. Or, like, people are having very limited sex. It's actually, that's actually really sad. It is really sad. Yeah. Um, second, some of height relationships. Uh, would you date a trans woman? Would I date a trans woman? No, I like vagina. Mm, how would... Uh, how would I love to approach me? This is so true. Yeah, guys nowadays, like, it's, you know, it is what it is. It's real sad. It's really sad. Does this also mean SA is decreasing in society? Yeah, so, like, progressively, sexual assault and all this other stuff um, has been going down, Yeah, you know, in the last few years. So that, yeah, so sexual assault and, like, sex crimes in general have been decreasing. Crime in general has been decreasing. I, every once in a while, we have, like, a year or two where it spikes. Like, for instance, 2020, 2021 was, like, you know, that was a spike. But it's progressively, if you looked at the chart, it's been progressively decreasing. Like, you might have the chart go like this sometimes, but it, it keeps going down. And that's been decreasing since the 1960s and 1970s-ish. My boyfriend is 5'10", and I'm 5'5", and we are almost the same height when I wear heels. Really? Damn, those heels are massive. And I think it's hot. That's great. That's amazing. You should. That's awesome. So it's fair to say that porn infers w interferes with men. For so I think the problem with porn is that it's an issue until it's an not an issue. Like, for instance, it's fine to... It's fine to watch porn, but once it becomes a problem, it becomes a problem. And watching it too young is a problem because it, like, fucks with your mind a lot. Because how many dudes have you met? You know how many women? Okay, first-hand experience. How many women I've met that go, I want to be choked. I want to be thrown around. I want to do this. I want you to, like, choke me. I want you to gag me. I want you to, like, I want you to literally just, like, you know, do some crazy shit. And... For me personally, I'm not really into that, right? But I know I met so many women that just want to be abused. And that's okay. But the reason why is because they started watching porn at like fucking 12. And um, it really fucks with your mind because you think that regular sex is no longer even a thing anymore. You know, like, you know, getting on top of somebody and just having meaningful sex looking into somebody's eyes, that's gay. Like, people don't look to be, <laughs> people don't like that anymore. I mean, sure, you can find people. I'm not saying everybody, but I'm saying a lot of people have this misconception on what sex is, and they think that just like pounding somebody for 45 minutes and then slapping them across the face with BBC is like, oh yeah, she's gonna love this. When in practicality, most of the time, that's not what really is fulfilling when it comes to sex. You understand? So, but don't get me wrong. It's not, there's nothing wrong with you if you want to do that. But a lot of people have misconceptions on what relationships are and how people act in sexual settings because they started watching things very, very young. And then everybody has very weird kinks nowadays, right? Like it starts off really, really, really normal. Like odds are when you started watching porn, you probably watched basic shit like women, men, right? But then that became abnormal to you. Like, I don't want to watch this anymore. This stuff is like, whatever. Like, I've, I've watched tons of guys have sex with women. That's fucking whatever. And then you start watching other things, right? I know I did that. Like, I was watching regular sex. And then I started watching um, glory hole shit and then hentai. And then eventually I was like, fuck it. Like, I was watching shit like a lot lizards, dude. Like, there's so much um, different types of pornography. And you can literally go through like 50 categories in 10 minutes. Not even joking to you. And then eventually, like, by the time you're 18 and you're leaving fucking your house and going to college, you're into some fucking weird shit. You're into, like, oh, fucking, I want to, like, slide my dick inside of a, I don't know, a toaster strudel while you lick my nipples while I'm on the toilet and watching five guys have sex with each other. Like, people are into some weird shit, you know? It wasn't like that. Like, back in the day, like, back in the day, a guy could probably beat off looking at a woman's ankle. You know, nowadays, it's not like that. Now, you know, and dudes are, like, beating off. You know how many... You know how many dudes nowadays are, like, beating off and getting, like, beat off blisters? A lot of guys. A lot of guys are beating off every fucking day, chronically. And don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with, like, beating off. There's nothing wrong with it. But, like, a lot of – and I've done this, too. Like, I've been in situations where I could have sex with a woman, a full woman, a nice woman. But I'm like, eh, I'll just beat off. Because sometimes it's, like, a little bit easier. And I don't want to, like, put in the commitment, you know? Don't call me out like this, David. <laughs> uh, it's really not that crazy, David. Well, you know what I'm saying.
not gonna lie. I had a decent conversation with the other day. AI is getting pretty good conversation. Dude, I just saw, there was a guy I saw that was beating off to an AI woman. Like a guy that was, uh, like he had made a whole woman. You ever watch the movie Her with Joaquin Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson? He made a woman and he just beat off to that shit. Like the girl was like texting him. He's like, oh yeah, my vagina is like really wet. And like, oh yeah, I'm totally not AI at all. I don't know. Like whatever. People are fucking, people are on some different shit. I'm really not joking. I live in Silicon Valley. Most people just recreate porn scenes when they have sex. Even if they love the person, sex is so much more. I agree. I agree. And um, that's one of the reasons why people just use sex as like transitional experiences now. Because like they don't think there's a lot of value in it. All right. See you, Florida. Enjoy the rest of your night. I hope you have a good, delightful sleep. Saving up for all the cybernetic mods. Yes, I'm for real cyberpunk 2077 shit right here. Sometimes it's better to just rub one out. Sometimes. Sometimes. I gotta be honest. Uh, as much as porn has watched, I typically don't recreate the scene. So much separate to me. But a lot of people do. Like, a lot of people see it and they want to, like, recreate it. Yeah. I believe it. I believe it, dude. I believe it. I can believe that, um, Sephine. I, 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 the amount of, like, porn nowadays is, like, crazy. So... Um, that's one of the reasons why people are not having as much sex. And when we do have sex nowadays, people don't do it within the relationship standards. And it's very easy to be not in a relationship and get sex because a lot of people are just using it as like, a, oh, you want to have sex with me? That's fine. Let's have sex together type thing, which is fine. Like if you want to have sex with people, I'm not here to shun you for having sex. Um, but I think that it takes away a lot of the value that you would have because I know Having sex with somebody randomly is cool and fun, but having sex with somebody that you have a meaningful connection with is more fulfilling, personally speaking. And the Jeffrey guy? Yeah. I don't know. It's just like it's it's up in the air for a lot of people. Oh, man. Android 18 would be crazy. I would do the pink one. The – what is it? Android 20? No, wait, was Android 20 the man? Hold on. <laughs> not not the man one. Android. Android 20. No, 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 not and no, not Android 20. No, 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 not the Android. No, no, not the Android 20. No, 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 not that one. Not Dr. fucking Jero. Jesus Christ. Not not Android 20. Um, the pink one, the new pink one, Android 21. Yeah. Android 21. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. This one, this is the one I would choose if I would have a, an Android. Yeah, dude, this would, this would be the one right here, dude. Hell yeah. The pink one, dude, a busty pink Android. Uh, David, you're romantic. Yeah, man, I love. I'm. I'm really monogamous. I don't like. Uh, you know, I'm not really the type of person that likes having sex with people. You know, talking about Android 22. That was from Xenoverse. Let me see Android 22. Uh, she was in Xenoverse. I mean, she's not bad looking either. She had muscle, mommy. I would. I would slam sell. I would slam sell. What the? F dude. Oh, man. Thank God I got this shit on full screen, dude. I just saw a picture of Cell literally fondling 18. What the fuck? Jesus, man. Android 21. She's been retconned to be Dr. Dro's wife? Really? In the superhero movie? Man, that movie was bad. Dragon the Dragon the Super Superhero. R.I.P. Akira Toriyama. Um, yeah, true. Unfortunately, uh, porn is our first introduction to sex at a young age. It took me years to actually know what it was like. To, uh, I, you know, B. That's that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. B. Street Fighter, Mr. Type. I remember one of my friends telling me that he had to look up a tutorial on how to beat off properly. Uh, he was like, he had to look up a guy beating off, and I thought that shit was gay as fuck. What you talk about, you got to look up a tutorial on how to beat off. Look up this girl, Street Fighter Marissa. Okay, let me look her up.
Oh, she did? Okay, let's look up this. Jesus Christ, man. This is what you into? <laughs> is this what you into, David? David Hernandez, is what you into? Damn, dude. She kind of thick. She kind of thick, dude. She, she she thick, dude. I'm sure somebody would like this. She a little bit too she a little bit too much woman for me personally. Her head's a little bit too small, too. Portions are really fucking weird, dude. You didn't like superhero? Nah, I didn't like superhero very much. It didn't have Goku or Vegeta screaming, so I didn't really like it. Feels dark to me. Shit has changed since the 90s. Yeah, it's changed heavy. Dude, she's got that, like, the haircut she's got is like a uh, a hoplite helmet. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Hoplite helmet. She got the hoplite helmet fucking hair. Except she doesn't have the middle piece. It's kind of cool. It kind of actually is a little bit like a hoplite. I actually really like this haircut. It's cool. Such an odd thing to hear. But I feel sympathy for the younger generation. Dude, I grew up in an era where the internet wasn't really even a thing. And then I grew up like through my teen years with the internet. And um, it's really not good. Like it's terrible, man. It's really terrible. But we had Gohan yelling. But they fucking... You know what I really hated about it? They were there at the beginning short. What I hated about the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie was I think it was great that Piccolo did something finally after years. But Gohan, they should have emphasized the 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 ultimate form. Like Gohan was never about transformations. Like he you know what I'm saying? Like he had Super Saiyan 2, sure, but they were really going in the right direction with the whole ultimate Gohan and discovering the inner self and shit like that, and like really trying to um emphasize the fact that he didn't need a transformation he just needed to be himself right and then they just like said fuck that shit and they gave him a transformation i don't know i don't like it i don't like it i didn't like it i don't like the transformation i personally just don't i think they need to stray away from the transformations a little bit i'm sick of it and i get it it sells it sells but it's like i don't like it it's giving he-man dragon ball z was my life i really liked dragon ball gt by the way I'm buying a Nintendo 64. Oh, that's really good. I love I love the N64 Banjo Kazooie game for myself. It worked hard for the good person. Hold on, wait a second. Let me see. Banjo and Kazooie. Look at this. Ready? I have the old toy. It's dusty because I haven't taken it off for a while. But it's unopened. Look at that. It's unopened. This is from like, uh, I don't know, probably like the 90s, early 90s, late 90s. I don't know, but yeah. Banjo Kazooie. They flesh it out in the, uh, the, the manga. Yeah, I hope that they um they do more with the super. I hope they do more with super because I actually really like super. Super was good. Goku Black, cool co cool cool concept. Um, I don't like the retcon for Vegito. I don't like their. I don't like. Um, I didn't like the universe survival arc. I thought it was kind of terrible. I didn't think it made any sense. It's from Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, it's from Diddy Kong Racing. Are you getting Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero? I don't think so. I'll probably get the new ten, uh, Budokai Tenkaichi when that comes out. Let me see. Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero. What is this game? Can I check this one? Is this like... What's the game for? Sure. When is it coming out? I mean, I'll buy it. Sure. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I really like Dragon Ball Z, but um, I know that um, you're freaking out. Yeah, I used to love that game when I was a kid. I, I really want the... Because they announced Budokai Tenkaichi. So, whenever that comes out, right? Isn't there a new one? That's Budokai Tenkaichi 4? Yeah. When Budokai... When the new one comes out, definitely. 
Oh, that is sparking zero? What? Wait, hold on. Somebody help me out for a second. Budokai Tenkaichi is sparking zero? Is that the same game? What color are my eyes? I don't know. Some kind of brown, I guess. I don't know. I have no idea. Some kind of brown. I never really looked at my eyes. So this is the new this is the new Budokai Tenkaichi? Are you are you really? I'll probably get it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's Dragon Ball Z. They don't make a lot of them, so. And it's like my favorite IP. Like, in order of IPs, my favorite IPs, it's Star Wars, and then um, Star Wars, Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball, and then Yu-Gi-Oh. Those are my three favorites. So, Sparking Zero, okay. Same thing, different name. When is it coming out? Oh, it is the same game. What? Dude, okay, fine. What the fuck? Why would they have the same name, though? That's weird. That, that's weird, dude. Just call it what it is, dude. Call it Budokai Tenkaichi. What's wrong with that? I like that name. I used to play that shit when I was a kid a lot. The old one. Uh, original, original property. Um. Yeah, intellectual property. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I'll buy it. I mean, I like I like fucking Dragon Ball. When's it coming out? Does anybody know? It's been a while since I played any Dragon Ball Z game. They don't really make them a lot. It's kind of crazy that they don't make them. They would make a lot of money. Oops. Um. Late 2024. Late 2024, dude. That's gross. That's gross. Damn, 2024, dude. Late 2024. Ah, that's nasty. That's nasty. That hurts me a little bit. I feel like I'm just we're just being starved for good content. The only thing that disappointed me in Superhero was that they never mentioned Moro, Granola, or Black Frieza. Meanwhile, in the manga, they did scene by scene. I don't know why, Toei. Yeah. Yeah, it's... uh. They don't want to touch on that stuff, I guess. Uh, it's it's a little bit convoluted, so. My boyfriend wants me to watch Star Wars with him after we finish Invincible. Um, I've never watched any of them. I'm more of a Lord of, a Lord of Rings fan. I don't know. I've, I've watched Star Wars from, like, episode 6, 7. Sorry. 4, 5, 6, and then 1, 2, 3. It depends on how deep you want to get into it. Um, because... There's a right way of consuming the content, and then there's, like, a weird way of consuming it. I would – I know a lot of people want people to – I know that there's, like, a a way a lot of people want you to watch the movies, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever, right? I don't think so. I think you should watch the movies in the order that they came out. So I would go 4, 5, and 6, 1, 2, and 3. And then I would, if you want to watch the newer ones, which, I mean, they're okay. Um, ooh, I can't even say that. I think the newer ones are bad. The last two were bad, but the first one was okay. Clone Wars is really good. Star Wars, the Clone Wars is very, very good, actually. Super ridiculously good, actually. It's my favorite. Oh, my God. It's so good. It's my favorite Star Wars. But um, that's what I, I, that's what I'd recommend. If you're just watching movies, which is probably the best way you do it, I'd do four five and six and then one two and three i love invincible so much i got mk and play as omni man money well spent i i, I know they did like a mid a mid-season like stop point so I, I stopped watching at that point so i don't know like um i didn't like you know when he uh, i don't want to spoil it but i stopped at that midpoint hey what's going on water bottle
Clone Wars was almost perfect. I agree. Clone Wars was my favorite. My absolute favorite. There's nothing there's nothing more that I love than Clone Wars. It's so good. Like that is definitive Star Wars for me. I'm really excited to watch something that he loves so much. That's really great. That's really great, B. I love the passion. I really love the passion. I hope he's also doing the same things for you. I hope he's also watching whatever you really like to watch as well. That's really beautiful, though. I like that a lot. I really like that. I think it's great when people like are together and they uh, are committed to each other to such a degree that even though you may not like watching this, like you'll still watch it because it's, um, you know, it's your boyfriend or something like that. It's beautiful. I love that. I love that a lot. Good for you, B. I was annoyed season two stopped at episode six. Yeah, I stopped watching episode six, I think. If you are tired of the wait, I suggest you read the comics. Star Wars comics are my favorite too, but it goes hard as fuck. I don't have the money to drop on the comics like that. I guess maybe I can like find scans online. It's 2020 lockdown. I've given up. True. Another show will diverge from the comics. Oh, really? That's never a good thing. Usually the source material is like the best place to get the other content. Ooh, that's gonna, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, you remember when they did that with, um, what's that TV show that was really good and then it was really, really bad? Oh, you read it free online? Okay. I didn't know there was a place you can do it online. I guess maybe I could be a pirate, you know, or find it somewhere. But, um, what was that show that everybody really loved? <sighs> there was a snow bunny, the snow bunny girl. Um, what is that? What was that called, man? Not Lord of the Rings, uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones was really good, but then they had to like, like the last season or two, they had to like come up with re really good ideas or whatever. Cause the guy that made it didn't write it down yet. Yeah. Game of Thrones. There you go. Yeah. Uh, it, and then it got bad. And then it got bad because of that. And everybody hated the last few seasons. I hope the show Invincible doesn't suffer from that. True Blood? No, not True Blood. Not True Blood. Is that a vampire? Is that a vampire story? It was really good, then it became garbage. Yeah, the last the last season was tough. That last season was tough to watch. That... Oof. I really loved that show, too. It was really good. Bro, they did Game of Thrones dirty. It's tough. It's tough, man. They ran out of material. Oh, he gives you that princess treatment? Love him so much. He's the best person I've ever met. That's beautiful. That's amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome, B. That's great. I'm happy for you. And I'm happy for him, too. It's awesome. You guys seem amazing together. That's good. That's really good. I love when relationships work out. Obviously, you're going to have times where they're, like, terrible. But still, like, ultimately, if they're good, that's good. The Starbucks cup scene <laughs> where they left the cup there. Yeah, just, like, the quality of the show dipped so heavy. And they had such great casting. And then it just, like, deteriorated so heavily. It's also, to Toby also tried to... Tried to take down their DBZ manga on websites. Yes, they failed, so they technically pirated, but it's legal. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I think Invincible will be good. Amazon and the showrunners are reliable. I hope so. Game of Thrones was disappointing. Did they cancel my HBO subscription after they finished that season? <sighs> yeah. A lot of shows like will have this point where the shows are really, really good, and then they have to keep continuing the show because they know that it makes money. And then it becomes bad. Like, a good example was The Mandalorian was such a fucking amazingly good show. But then, I guess Pedro Pascal, I think the rumors were Pedro Pascal didn't want to do it anymore because his face wasn't being shown because he was The Mandalorian, right? And then he was saying, like, he didn't want to be a part of the show anymore. And the last season, I think he had maybe four sentences in the entire show and um it was so bad it was so ungodly levels of bad it was so disgusting dude oh so bad like the walking dead yeah the walking dead was really good first few seasons but then 
it just became so convoluted. And then the zombies were not even threats anymore. Like, at the first few seasons, you're like, oh, these zombies are serious. But then on the last few seasons, you're like, they're nothing. Like, they just die from, like, basic, like, punches to the head could kill them. I gotta be honest, David, I never found a relationship. I never found a relationship to be hard. Um, really? I mean, like, sometimes you're gonna have conversations with somebody, and maybe there's more expectations than... Because sometimes people need more than what you think you can give them, or maybe you find conflicts in compromising on things, you know? Like, you never had arguments before about things like that? You never had, like, a, you know, I can't do this, or you can't do that, and it's okay, but we're going to work on this, you know? Like, you never had conversations like that, Don? Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I just kind of always assume that people have conflicts in relationships, you know, sometimes. But that's okay, because it's like a normal thing. As long as you're working towards a better uh, goal or outcome. Oh, was it? I didn't know. I didn't know that, David. Uh, maybe. Maybe that is the case, dude. But, um... Really? Damn. Because the Invincible show is really good. Really good, actually. I love Omni Man. I love the mustached warrior. So you might be right on that, but I got to actually finish that show because I know they just added some new episodes. So I'm like, really, really, I can't wait. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I remember one time I went to the gym, um, Venom with my, with my guy friend and he was like really pushing me super, super, super hard. And I remember I, I bench pressed the most weight I've ever bench pressed. I forgot what the number was like 170 or something like that. And um, I literally almost threw up. Like I remember I lifted the bar and I felt so good. But then when I sat back up, I was like, oh my God, like I feel like I'm literally about to throw up. But luckily I did not. A lot of back and forth. I know it's normal for most. It's just part two. I never barfed, but I've passed. Oh, you've passed out? I think barfing would be better. I feel like ass. That's good. That's good. I mean, is it good? Not ass, but like you should feel like you did something. So that's a good thing, Venom. After going one hour straight with a heavy bag nonstop. Yeah, Venom, what did you do today? How did that happen? What, what exercises did you do to make yourself feel like ass and almost throw up? And my legs were involuntarily shaking and give out underneath me while squatting. Ooh. The best show of all time was Twilight Zone from 1963. My favorite episode is Nightmare 2000 Feet, where they were less than – they also less than 45 minutes. Yeah, I used to love the old uh, Twilight Zone. I love that show. You, There was that one episode. It was my favorite episode where the guy became invincible, uh, immortal, and then he tried to, like, throw himself off the building. And then he killed his wife by accident. Like his wife fell off the building and then he went to jail. And the, the, the guy at the jail was like, I'll give you for your crimes. You're going to be in jail for your entire life. But he was immortal, so he could never die. And then the devil came and was like, you want me to end it for you? And the guy was like, yeah. I thought that was a great episode. Reverse hack squats, starting with 45s. Then 10 each new set oof good for you though venom I'm, I'm sure that absolutely killed you good for you that's good though that's good you should feel you should feel good knowing that you did what you did though you are entering 
Dude, that was a great show. You're totally right about that. That was a, That's an amazing show. My favorite show is probably The Office, though. The Office is such an amazing show. Such a great show. Oh, I used to sleep on it, too, until my Muslim friend told me about it. He's like, bro, you got to watch this show. And then I was like, ah, okay. It was on Netflix. I watched it in the background. I was like, oh, shit, this is actually hilarious. This show is amazing. Haven't been in a while. Well, it's never a bad time to get back into the gym. It's never a bad time to get back in the gym. Always good to, you know, as long as you start off slow, you know, because you don't want to like, you don't want to fuck with yourself um, too heavy when you, when you haven't went to the gym in a long time. Yeah, that blood flow. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go and end the stream. I'm going to go make food and take a shower and then settle down for the rest of the night. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, if you guys want to continue to talk to each other, make sure you join in on the Discord because we're a beautiful community there. People are talking. People are communicating. So if you want to continue talking there, that's a great spot. There's also voice channel chat. So if you want to have conversations there, you can do that. But um, anyway... <sighs> Uh, thank you, anybody that donated, anybody that became a member. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys are all amazing, beautiful specimens of human being. Tomorrow, we're going to do another live stream at 6 p.m. EST. So if you want to join back up, I appreciate that. Enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Peace. Oh, yeah, by the way, before we go, I'm going to leave this one up um, in the live stream tab. So if you see it, you can just rewatch it whenever you want to.